less than two crew welcome in everybody hope y'all are doing well thank you so much for joining me for the friday night stream aka the pad aka the night where we get to hang out chit chat have a good time welcome in everybody okay squad before we get any further let me tell all the early chatters up in here chalet welcome in sal's here yeah. hope you're doing well kalita with the 43rd month thanks so much kalita um i feel like i'm missing a message from taylor who's i see the tail end i can't see the message because it's blocked here taylor what did you write in the beginning also happy birthday to taylor Hope you had a lovely, lovely day. Uh, Lori, welcome in. Danny Becker in the building. We got Ichiyami in the building. Kalita, once again in the building. Quinn, should I give the mole a try or no? Listen, Quinn, if you say the mole two more times, RHAP fans going to burst into the chat and say, definitely do it. I will say this. I've not watched the new season yet. I know it dropped this morning or did it drop. Yeah, it dropped earlier today. I've not watched it yet. I've not started it yet, so I have no idea if this new season's bumping or not, but I'm sure some people in the chat are already on top of it, at least two episodes deep, three, four, maybe the whole five, I don't know. So someone in the chat, if you watched it, can you let um, can you let Quinn know whether or not it should be watched and it's like appointment watching or not? Please and thank you. Kansas, welcome in. Corey, hope you're doing well. Hello, Russ in the building. We got Darrell with the 35th month. Thank Thank you so much welcome back into the lesson two crew camera camera relax who told you you can move who told you you can move hey are you defying me camera hold on stay there camera's defying me imagine the audacity of this camera what the fuck <laughs> Steph welcome and thank you for the 14 months Steph, appreciate you Kurader, welcome in. Softy, hello, hello. Uh, Little Miss Andre, what up? Tay Hufflepuff in the building. Lamb diggity dang dog. Bruv, I'm ready to come through on the blessing of this weekend. Bless up, young blood. Hey, hope you're doing well, Lamb diggity. Hope you're having a good weekend or your weekend ends up being good. Camera, what did we talk about? Stop. Sorry, chat. I don't know. The camera's got a mind of its own tonight. I, I don't know what's happening. You should be good now. Should be good now. We'll see. Um. Okay, where was I? Yeah, hope you're having a good weekend. And thank you for stopping by hanging out tonight. Buttercup, welcome in. Happy Friday to you. Memories, what up? Happy weekend to you too. Jennifer, welcome in. Craig, welcome in. Red Wings, hello, hello. Rye Guy, what's good? Welcome. Sarah Hufflepuff, also in that building that we are all at. Welcome into the building. <laughs> Pambella, welcome. Braden, hello. Jabina, thank you for the 23rd month. Thank you, thank you. Uh, hey, Valencia, hope you're doing well. Hope uh, everything's been good with you. You're resting, doing well. Welcome in. Four episodes in, go for it. Three episodes in, it's fun. There we go. Love that, love that. Uh, we posted a little cat video clip, but it was at the end. So I'm not sure if we saw accepted. Was this the catnip, the cats one? Because I can't, I couldn't do that. I didn't know where the catnip was. <laughs> Happy Friday, Cookie Cutie. Welcome in. Just birthday. I've got Zanetti and all, so also a bit of an L. But got 160, 75. Five soap, and I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm, I still have 30 more of those to complete, Taylor. I also packed Zanetti. I packed Javi like three times. I packed Campos twice. I packed the uh, Uruguayan Hero Striker. I packed Trezeguet once. And my best pack pull was I packed Desai. That was my best one. Maybe just me, but I wish it would tell who the mole is at the start. Tom, welcome in with the first time chat. Tom, so that's an interesting take because I feel like there's some people that feel like they like that they don't know and they wish the traders would do the same where they wouldn't tell you who the traders are. Um, but I understand what you mean because it's kind of like when you're watching someone play Among Us, Goose Goose, or Mafia, or, or Blood on the Clock, you kind of know all the role, like you, the, the role you're watching kind of thing. So and, and also, honestly, obviously, you can go watch the storyteller and see where the where the uh, baddies are. But I'm okay with it being there for one of the games, if that makes sense. Say them all three times you call Archie Event. Exactly. Uh, Y'all, one of the lights in the back is flickering. Hold on. Hold on. All right, should we get now? Um, <laughs> if you're doing the mole spoilers, I'll leave spoiler hand. I've not watched any of it, so definitely no spoiler, no mole talk here today. 
How's that emote so large? Kelly Kid, it's a new update they've done. You can gigantify emotes in the chat now in exchange for bits. Just a general catch on for cat content. Gotcha. I didn't end up videoing them, but I have a couple lovely pictures that I'll show you once I catch up with y'all, which is coming soon. Um, Let me go. Let's see. Uh, I know you want to give hints to identity mole in the intro and throughout the show. Interesting. The thing is that bothers me about the mole is each episode ends on a cliffhanger elimination. Well, the funny thing to me is that, like, I still think it's hilarious when shows like Netflix, like, uh, sorry, platforms like Netflix, who end up releasing episodes on batches will do cliffhangers for every episode. Just cliffhanger, the fifth one, since there's not gonna be an episode for a week. You know what I mean? Like you do not need to cliffhanger the rest of it because there's no point. There's no point. Um... <laughs> do I recommend Zin? Is that the, Lamb, is that the, um? That's, that, that's like the tobacco chew thing you put in the, under your lip, like the, the Swedes call it the snooze. Is that what you're talking about? Because I've never done that. And low key, I would probably not recommend it. <laughs> uh, do you use pale tools? Lifesaver for the crafting upgrade. I don't use pale tools, Taylor, because I'm worried I'll get banned. I'm worried I'll get caught and banned and I don't care much for it. Um, it was. It is. A, it, it does take a lot longer to do them though, <laughs> as a result. Um, Jesse, welcome in. Sir, the Hufflepuff, hello, hello. Happy Friday, Jamie. Damien, welcome in. All right, chat. I love the game you played last night. Very fun to watch. Oof. Yeah, so yesterday we did a special stream. A special, it was a shorter stream, but it was a special one nonetheless. We played the uh, Survivor game um, that, that Corey had played on Sunday. Um, it was interesting. It was interesting. I think the biggest disappointment for me was that the game always had the one outcome. Like, no matter what, the game was always going to end the same way. Uh, which was it kind of after you played it twice, it was done. Like I was like, okay, well, I know I can get to like second now just by knowing who to vote for kind of thing. So I'm happy that that didn't, uh, have, but we did watch the ending, um, of Corey's stream on stream to watch the ending. And I kind of wish I would have seen that organically, like without uh, having watched it, like got in there myself, but I'm very okay with the outcome. It's all good, but it was fun. It was a little distracting, distraction, a little bit of fun last night. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to show you all pictures of the cats. I suddenly catch up and you'll see the photos of the cats. And then I'm going to plug my phone to charge because it's at 26%. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> so Liana was gone for a couple of days this week. So I had been taking photos of Pearl and Clam to send her way. Um, this was Pearl spread out the other day on our little taco blanket on the couch pearl is the taco meat in this equation so there you go yeah joe winning the, the typing task broke me we did find the idol which was pretty sick um and then let me see what's the other photo of pearl that i have here oh my god this photo is hilarious hold on I've got this photo of Pearl as well. <laughs> and then I've got a photo of uh, Clam as well. Clam just sits on the ground and doesn't do much. So her photos are end up being looking like this. There you go. And Joey, <laughs> the Finnish dev must be tickled with their weird free seven-year-old art game is suddenly getting all this attention. Happy for them because... I think there's rough and despite the social commentary. Oh, for sure. The, just given that they knew some, they've had some references peppered in there. I have to imagine they're a fan in some capacity for sure. Uh, did you hear the ask Rob anything speculation that Leonica? Yes, I did see that Nicole. I did see that and I knew it was coming too. Um, but it's the same as the Amon speculation, which is like, I'm sorry to, uh, what's it called? I'm sorry to uh, rain on anyone's parade, but if you ever think there's a podcaster that's gone for a show, look at the other podcasts they cover outside of the Big Brother Survivor ones. Because you're going to see a Drag Race pod on your feed with Amon and Leon on it. You know what I mean? Um, BB26 speculation was in our chat, Red Wings. I saw Survivor speculation in the RHAP side of things. All right. Let me see. Let me sc really scroll back up here. Um, 
I found out on the recent Arch uh, BB Can send off pod that Terran's first appearance on Archie was on the BB Can 3 first eviction recap. What was yours? Uh, I was in the So You Think You Can podcast uh, competition. My first RHAP debut appearance was a it was a competition one, but it was during BBOTT. We were talking BBOTT that week. That debut. Also, I'm pretty sure the story I said about my first appearance on a recap was wrong. I think it would have been BB19 and not BB Can 6. Oh, sorry, BB Can 5. I think it was 19, but don't quote me on that. Can I go back and watch the Puyo debut? Feel free to do so, Kelly. Okay, we've done it on stream before. It is a lot for me. <laughs> but you can definitely go ahead and check it out, yeah. I was so stoked to see Asia in that trailer, uh, in part because I noticed her absence and was worried about there was a falling out or something. No, no, no there was never a falling out. With Asia, no, ain't nobody in the world's going to fall out with Asia. She's like the nicest person in the world. Uh, Camid, welcome and hello with your first time chat. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thoughts on people with Canada being canceled? Um, It's funny. I feel like I'm in this similar camp to a lot of people where... I like when BB can during BB can after BB can five finished when it got canceled, I was devastated. I, I was so sad. I wanted it back more than anything. Now with BB Canada being canceled, I've kind of, I'm kind of like oddly okay with it. Like if it, and make no mistake, if it comes back, I'm pumped. I'm like, hell yeah. But it's not like it hasn't broken me. I guess that's because it's not really been a big part of my year anymore for the last couple of years. Um, because you know, with big brother us, like, even if it has bad moments, even if there's moments where I'm frustrated by it, it plays such a big part of my summers that an absence would definitely be felt. But there's a lot of new shows on the air right now that I feel like BB Canada being gone, there's another show that can take the spot for it for me and, and then I move on if that makes sense. So you can't blame me for spec. Hey, speculate away, speculate away. <laughs> Sent you only on a luck the first week. Taylor, imagine. Like that's the funny thing too is like, um, just knowing and thinking about how we get to where we get to. Because Liana was one of the only So You Think people that I was... Well, she's the only So You Think person that I talked to beyond, like, good lucks. Um, but she was also the first one I messaged. Fun fact. Um, especially after what you shared about it being last minute and... Oh, yeah. I, I said this on the pod yesterday. Um, <laughs> uh, my first ever Big Brother recap, I was how you would like me to say under the influence. Um, and it went well, I think. Because I, naturally, I'm a very quiet person. Especially when I don't know people or I'm new. I'm quiet and I'm a speak when spoken to person. So you were going to get the same type of me. You weren't going to get a, you know, me loud, me hosting thing because it was like one of my first appearances. So I don't think it ended up being that big a deal. Exchange is the best thing he has ever added. I agree, Taylor. When they remove it, I'm going to be in a bad spot. What's the latest you'll have caffeine? Um, well, typically, if I'm doing a podcast or a stream at like 10 p.m., like right now, I would have a coffee. Or if I'm doing a podcast, I would have a coffee. However, today I'm having a decaffeinated tea. So I'm not even having some caffeine right now. Um, but there's no really real time limit to when I... Like, I don't have a caffeine cutoff, if that makes sense. Which is probably a bad thing, but it's my, it's my truth. Uh, chat, I'm going to go ahead and open the anonymous form as well for anyone that wants to submit any questions anonymously on this lovely night. Of course, this is our community stream slash AMA stream slash advice stream. It's basically me getting to talk to y'all, y'all getting to talk to me, get some FaceTime on both ends, discuss all the things we want to discuss, that kind of vibe. There we go. Let's open up. All right. But yeah, Kamid, I gave you my take. My take is that, you know, I would have been sadder in the past, but I think it was... Like Papaya said, I think it had its nine lives. You know, good luck to it. We'll see where it goes from here. Uh, but for now, I'm not, you know, I'm not phased. I'm not as phased as I would have been at, uh, you know, once upon a time. Very happy with, like, if it ends on this season with this winner, like, this is kind of the perfect place, if that makes sense. But that's kind of where I am. All right. Uh, let me see. What kind of tea? Uh, Earl Grey. Tom Langham. Purely hypothetical, of course. But if, say, someone was on Survivor, would they be allowed to be on a Big Brother update before Survivor aired? I would think not. I would think not. That's my official uh, 
guesstimation prediction without any like active accurate evidence to back it up but i don't think so i do not think so but yeah it's an earl gray decaf what i'm drinking on right now um all right while we wait for any questions to come in feel free to of course to keep using the chat here um i've had a bit of a busy wild week uh i ended up doing the milf matter podcast the 90 day podcast i guessed it on the um I guessed it on the uh, free agents pod with Matt Scali and drafted the Traders US season three, uh, which was a lot of fun. I then we did the remembering BB Can one last night, which I found out about what two hours before it happened. And then I found out middle of the podcast, I got a text from Sam that said, hey, Taryn has to leave. Can you continue steering the, the hosting the podcast? And I was like, yes, but I didn't know this earlier. So last second got in that uh did that that ended up going strongly i think we streamed last night which was a lot of fun we did a little town cheeky little town hall in the uh discord yesterday which i had a good time with uh that was very fun talking to y'all and planning some stuff so that was nice and uh here we are now Cross, thank you for the 44th month friend hope you're doing well it's been a minute Cross. what you been up to what you been up to hope you're good up j cause is good welcome welcome hey hannah welcome in did Taryn get pulled in? Like, oh, you caught him. You caught him, Papaya. <laughs> um, let me see. What's it going to take for Big Brother to be canceled? Also, what's it going to take for Big Brother to get a little more serious? I mean, are you looking for Big Brother to get canceled, Lamb? Um, and more serious? It's easy. Uh, we can make the... Like, I think you can edit the show to be a little more gritty. And, and it doesn't even need to be dramatic or serious. Just remove some of the fart jokes and the slime and the boing, bing, bang sound effects. And I think you're already in a more serious spot. I think that's the key. Like you can have something feel like a summer party without it feeling like a summer party at like the community pool where everyone's welcome. You make it a little bit of a mature party, if that makes sense. Fucking busy, my man, but been good. Love to hear it, Cross. Love to hear it. Busy, blessed, doing good. Good stuff. About to watch the most season two. I hope it's good. Well, speaking of that, prime sub alert from RGA fan. Thank you for the 37 month RGA fan. Watch one episode of the new mole. Just another reminder how much I miss the OG mole hosts and hidings. So much better than the Netflix one in my But my question to you, RGA fan, this is a serious question here. Serious one. Would you rather not get any mole or get this new mole? That's, I'm curious what you'd say. So let us know. Let us know. The TLDR for the town hall, Jill, there was two things. One was I was I was talking about how I'm not going to do vaudeville because the game is unsolvable at the moment after investigating their discord. So that was one. The second thing was that we organized a discord slumber party in the discord for Saturday the 13th. That's the current plan. Saturday the 13th that night, we're going to have a little slumber party in the discord. It should be fun. We come through for that. And then we just kind of shot the shit a little bit after that. Would you rather? <laughs> a little mole is better than no mole, says Dupree's gal. On a scale of one to 10, OG mole, season one, season two is a 10, and Netflix is like a six. Okay, okay. That's interesting. So a 10 is obviously amazing. Six isn't bad to get more of it, if that makes sense. I'm not a huge BB fan, but on the survey for Family Feud, I said the one thing I changed is no potty humor. Well, Nicole, don't tell me any more about the um, about that survey because I'm participating in that family feud on uh, Monday. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to know what people may have answered, uh, but I'm probably going to forget also, so you're safe. Um, what's potty humor? Like crude humor or just like toilet humor? Like farts, butts, toilet humor. Because I listen, I love, I love a good, I love, I love some dirty, dirty humor, but... Potty, if it's just like bathroom, butt, farts, poop, no, I'm out. I'd rather get some mole, but it's not the same show. And the old one's so funny and fun. And the new one doesn't bring any of that kind of energy. Is it like, is the new one trying to be more serious? Is that the feeling? Name that toot. Boo! So I thought it was Patreon participating, not podcasters. Yeah, I know roughly who's participating, but I can't share that with y'all. Whether, whether or not Digital NDA is on the line, I can't do that. Um... 
But chat, I do have an announcement. It's a bit of a sad announcement. Um, but it's this is not a it could change. This is guaranteed done. Um there will be no Lala welcome in. There will be no Goose Goose Duck stream on Sunday. I asked 16 people. <laughs> I got 11 no's. <laughs> it was bad. I then asked four more people, got one yes. It's not happening this week, but it's fine. I will upload a video onto YouTube for y'all, premiering at five if you want to watch that. Um, honestly, some some of the vibes I've been getting in the lobby, I feel like a break could work, could be a could be a good accidental occurrence. Um Maybe 4th of July weekend type stuff. I I think that's entirely possible, Hannah. Just given the amount of people that were not available. Um, so if you're not, there will be a YouTube video on Sunday ready to watch. No blow on the clock tower either. I don't someone in someone in the chat told me that Dwight said something yesterday. Um, but I've not gotten an invite for Blood on the Clock Tower. So I don't know. So I don't know. That I don't know. Like if I had gotten invited, I think I would have said no this week anyway. But, you know. Uh, definitely trying to be more serious. The host of the OG Mall also hung out with the players. Each episode had a fantastic banter. Good banter is a good time. You know me. You know how I like it. Uh, name that toot is a horrible. No, AZ. No, I don't want to do that game. <laughs> Poop farce. Yeah, boo. Boo the, all that. See, that's what makes it, to me, it takes the seriousness out of it, for sure. Um, But yeah, busy week for everybody. What I'm hearing you say is that you will be recapping the first episode of OG Mall on Twitch this Sunday. That is not what you are here. I feel like you're hearing what you want to hear. <laughs> All right, we're getting some questions coming in. I'll answer one of those in a second here. I think everyone's doing well. I think everyone's doing well. You did not hear that. Uh, what are some cool things people should consider seeing in Dubai? Would you recommend visiting? Dubai is a fun time. I think if you're going there for a vacation, it's definitely worth it. There's a lot of fun um, uh, places to go, sites to see. You know, we got the tallest skyscraper, which is located at the feet of like the world's biggest mall, which is amazing. A uh, good time there for shopping. It's always a good time. If you are if you want to see the indoor ski slope, you can go check that out as well. There's a lot of new like landmark type things that have been added since I moved 10 years ago, or I say 10 years ago, goddamn 13 years ago now. Um, so there's a lot there that you can check out. Obviously, that, that's not even including the nightlife, you know, patio living, pool life. Um, if you like smoking like hookah, they got great hookah setups there. So all of that. The one thing you cannot smoke there is weed. Do not smoke weed there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Even if you find it, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, do I said at the end of last goose, we might have other plans, but it was up in the air then. Not sure if, okay, let me check. Cause I did. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So I did get asked for blood on the clock tower, but for next week. So I assume there's no blood on the clock tower tomorrow. That's my assumption. That's my assumption. Yeah. It's, um, Hannah, it's Monday at Kelly Kate. What time did I say it was on Monday? Sounds good, AZ. Sounds good. But yeah, it's Monday evening. It's Monday evening. You didn't hear me say the time? I feel like I did it in the plugs yesterday, but I don't remember it for myself. Uh, you know what? Let me see. Sam messaged me when he asked me if I could do it. He would have said what time. Yeah, next week is a very busy one for me. Oh, it's uh, 8 p.m. Monday, 8 p.m. Yeah, I've got like three podcast obligations next week that are not my own podcasts. He hosted Blow on the Clock Tower on Wednesday this week? I didn't know there was a Wednesday Blow on the Clock Tower. Did I miss that? Damn, where have I been, chat? Will you be streaming the new traders coming up next month in the Discord too? Um, if we find it, yes. Um, if we, uh, what's it called? If we can organize a watch party for it, for sure. Oh yeah, there we go. Two days ago. Look at that. Oh, he ran some community games. So y'all got involved with this one, eh? Yeah, look at the. Oh my God, chat. 
So many people. So many people. Incredible. I miss this. Nine people day. I see Air. I saw Arabin's name. I saw Chase's name. Um, it was RGA patrons. Gotcha. What you need? Nothing, Sam. I was looking through my text. What time is the th uh, it was 7 p.m. on Tuesday? Yeah. Sam, do you think the Tuesday one will be done by 9? Hypothetically speaking. That makes sense, Walling. So that answers the question of no blood on the clock tower tomorrow. What was I doing Wednesday? I was doing something. I don't remember now. Oh, I recorded. Uh, da, 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 um. <laughs> I can't chat. I'm falling apart. Yeah, because I have committed to doing the. I will, I will give you all this chat again. Digital NDA, so no snitching. Um, no snitching. Jill, so the agreement for Traders New Zealand Watch Party was, y'all can watch this week without me on Monday. Because I'm not going to be available this week to watch it. There's no good time for me. So y'all can watch it on Monday and then I'll be back with y'all the week after. And then we can find like a nighttime slot for the New Zealand ones, I think. Um, Debbie slept six midday hours. I might go back to sleep soon, but I love you all. Hey, Jay. So y'all, I fell asleep at like 6.30 in the morning um, this morning. And I woke up at like 1. I felt like shit. And then I slept for another hour and a half in the evening or in the afternoon, late afternoon. I woke up because I had an anxiety dream, so it's uh, my sleep is kind of on the ropes this, right now. It's not good. No, I definitely wasn't watching the Bear in the NBA draft. I feel like I was doing a podcast, but I don't remember which one. So, um, uh, what was I talking about? We're talking about Below the Clock Tower. Before that, we we're talking about Traders New Zealand. Tomato Nick, thank you, friend. Yeah, it was not good. It was a lot. I hated it. Oh, it was the survivor bracket one. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. I was losing my mind. Yeah, I said I all the podcasts I did, and I forgot to plug that one, which makes sense. Thank you, TVNess. And thank you to um, Red Wings. All right, all right. That's enough, Big Shack. Pull it together. Okay. Okay, let me... You know what? Let me ask an, uh, answer another question, and then we go from there. Oh, we got a... I got one in the fee in the feedback form, not the AMA. Is that new? That is new. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, what's your Big Brother feed watch setup? Was new to fees last year and found it hard to follow. Any tips? Okay. So I can share with you my setup for sure. The way I operate with feeds, right? So this is my computer here. You do not need the setup I have. You can do this with less of a setup I have, but obviously because I stream, podcast, do all these things, I have a lot going on here. I have three monitors, right? I've got two monitors here and here. They're about the same size, about like what, 24 inch monitors. So boom and boom, boom and boom, okay? And then I've got a vertical monitor on the right side here. The vertical monitor, I have a lot of my settings. So right now my Spotify is here. My Go XLR like mic settings are here. Typically, that's the, the third monitor is where I have some of my stuff that I do not need in front of me at the moment. And I can just go over here. So that's one. Um, software wise, BB Viewer is what I live and die by. BB Viewer is uh, created by the lovely Liquidated, who is who can be found on Twitter. Um, if someone can put the Twitter link for Liquidated in the chat, I would appreciate it. And I basically, I watch on quad screen on like one monitor. I have my Twitter open on the other till I kind of look at stuff. And um, the volume master extension is huge. Walling is, shout out to Walling for us, uh, you know, put it <laughs> saying I put you onto it. I think BB Viewer is still on Chrome. I'm not 100% sure Red Wings, but I use it on Chrome. So that's kind of how I do it. It used to be a software. It used to be an app, but I don't think it is anymore. Um, but the volume master extension is great for the whispering to adjust that. BB Viewer is a godsend because you can watch quad cam and adjust 
audio. So like, let's say you're looking at the quad cam and room two and three looks exciting. You can just make all the audio be on two and three, uh, sorry, three and four, and then go back to two and three, uh, one and two. So that's what I do enjoy about that. Um, and then on top of that, I feel like, um, hold on. And then, yeah, the bookmarks are actually huge when it comes to BB viewer, because if like, say you go to sleep overnight and then you look it up after, um, you're like, what did I miss? If you look at bookmarks, a lot of people will bookmark like key moments that you may have missed uh, that you can go back and watch. So that's great. It's definitely the number one way to watch the feeds, BB Viewer. It's 100% better than just the, the plain feeds website itself. I would live by that for sure. One and three, two and four. There we go, Sparrow. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> a little foggy on the details. But yeah, that's my setup. That's how I do it. All right, let's see. Uh, hi, Puya. I'm a, I'm also a fellow immigrant from Eastern Europe. Okay, okay. So your story and journey is inspiring to see all your success. So I thank you so much. English is my second language, so I'm constantly learning new phrases and metaphors and idioms. Cool, cool, cool. My, qu <laughs> my question is, what does hak tua mean? So I can help you with this because I know exactly what hak tua means. Okay, so this... Okay, so if you've not been on the internet this past week, or you have been on the internet, Haktua has taken over the world. It originated from a TikTok, and it was one of those where it's a dude, a TikToker with a microphone interviewing people outside of a club. And he's talking to this girl about, you know, dating stuff. And she says, in order to, I don't know, was it to keep a man or do the, do good or whatever, uh, Haktua spit on that thing okay so hak tua implies the winding up of a spit you know i'm not gonna do it because filthy uh to do it here but it's a wind up of a spit tua is when you spit on that dick and then you do the thing with the dick so if you've been seeing a lot of people hak tua they're not talking in code they're being filthy on the timeline so now you know. <laughs> now you know what that is. Hock to us, spit on that thing. That felt like a very gentrified definition of it, if I'm being honest. But I didn't want to get filthy with it myself. I'm trying to, it's still not even midnight yet. I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> D's relax. Okay. Did you hear about the NBA trade today? Murray went from a hawk. Papaya, I wouldn't expect any other type of joke in this moment. <laughs> you never know what you'll get on uh, the pad. This is true. Appreciate you for that. I got you. I got you. <laughs> well, you're good, Dees. And with that back to bed, <laughs> take care, Jay. Have you thought about doing a community Goose Goose Lobby for when the regular crew is unavailable? Um, I, to be honest, have not really. I feel like the system in place right now of if I can't pull together the lobby, we just have a YouTube video set up. I think that works. I think that's fine. Um, and if I'm being very transparent and honest with you, chat, um, I'm once I realized that the lobby's probably not going to come together, I was oddly at peace with it. I think I think I need to breathe a little. Especially because, you know, I didn't see Liana for three days. She finally, she got back today. Um, I want to spend some time with her. And, and I feel like that we can do something on Sunday now, which is nice. And then, like I said, next week, I've got um, 90 Day, Milf Manor, Traders New Zealand, Big Brother Family Feud, the RHAP patron draft thing that we're doing for Survivor 50, that five, and my own, my stream content as well. Um... So I think it's uh, it's it'll work out. The time off will work out. I ended up working out. But again, to be very honest, I tried my hardest to book a lobby. I really did. But yeah. Uh, the next question is, 
So are there any updates on when Traders US 3 is supposed to be released? Not that I know of. Red Wings, you you typically have an eye on some of the scheduling stuff, I feel like. And if you don't, apologies for the assumption. Um, Have you heard anything? Because from what I gathered, I think we're still looking at January for... Or like that January, February time or era. Do you want a bigger break? Like for a full month? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I feel like just the one week, uh, every now and then when we have that one week gap or like buy... I feel like the week after everything's back to normal, everything's cool, chill, simple, easy. So no, we don't need the month break. Right, Sam. We wanted to see you for three days because she was upset you haven't watched the OG Mall. She left me for three days. It took a lot of convincing to bring her back. All right, Chibi fan. <laughs> but yeah. I think still January, February for the release. I don't think it's going to be any other time, to be honest. Um, Let's see. Would you rather own a horse or be a horse? What? I guess own a horse? Even though I wouldn't want to own a horse, but I would rather not be a horse myself. If that makes sense. Any pregame thoughts for the Patreon 50 draft? Honestly, Tom, I'm going in relatively chill. I'm not making a whole draft board. I don't think I say that now that could change. Um, but I do have a general idea of which direction I'm going and leaning on this. Because to my knowledge, the whole point of it is to get as many correct draft picks that end up on the season. So I feel like I know where to go look for it, if that makes sense. You know? I wish I was horse, no problems on my own. Non thoughts, just sugar cube. Be an owned horse or a free horse? That might change the answer for some people too. Hmm. Kroos, you are disgusting. <laughs> Make sure to check the Twitter group chat. Ugh, okay, fine. I'll check right now. Let's see. Oh, this is bullshit, Sam. I hate the last, last line. I'm fine with the three. I'm fine with the two because the two is super unlikely now. The one is just nonsense in my opinion, but that's fine. Whatever. Oh my God. We're picking 30. P yeah. I'm not going to be done in two hours, Sam. There is no shot. This is like a four-hour podcast. Shit. So someone running one down my street this morning was so random. Jesse, what? Not a fan of the word own in this context. 100% agreed. This is the uh, Survivor draft pod on Tuesday. I wonder how many minutes in before Rob regrets this decision. We'll see. We'll see. No, we're not each picking 30. It's 30 overall. Can we do a marble race for one of your picks? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, I'm not trusting y'all with this. Because if I lose by one point or two points, I, I, don't want, I would hate to blame y'all for it. I would hate to blame you for it. Listen, you got to have one of my picks for when we did the Big Brother brand seal last, last year. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? Yeah, Rob is a lot. Rob is drafting. Um, since it's going to be no Asia, no Liana, it's five of us drafting. And it'll be six rounds, so 30 total. Can I have one of your picks if I got top surgery? Jay, no. As, as happy as I am, no one can have this pick. This is my pick. So I got top surgery for nothing. You didn't get top surgery for this pick. <laughs> no, Jada. You cannot do this to me. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Okay. <laughs> Rob or you or anyone else can also draft Rob, which is a fun wrinkle. Exactly. That's the thing. If Rob drafts himself, I'll know something's up. You know, if he drafts himself, you'll know that he's going on some kind of a show. <laughs>
here's the thing. What if I never watch the Mario GM? What if I just don't like the shows? What if I was like, you know what, mole, mid. <laughs> I mean, obviously having said, someone who's watched what has been deemed the six out of 10 um, version of the mole and enjoyed it, I feel like I would enjoy it, but it's fun to be a shithouse sometimes. It's fun to be a shithouse sometimes. You watch MILF Manor, I don't think you get to say the mole is mid. Oh, can we talk about the Survivor soundbite thing? That 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 comment, Jake, took me there. I really, really, I've learned I have a pet peeve. I've learned I have a pet peeve. And my pet peeve is I really, really, really detest gatekeeping so much. And by gatekeeping, I mean people that hold a show in a high regard or are a big fan of that show and will not let people who are not on their level, A, enjoy that show to as much as they do, or B, I really dislike when people are like, this is the, this is the opinion. If you don't have this opinion, you're wrong. I literally said on the, um, I literally said on the soundbite pod or the sound, uh, the one-liner bracket thing we did. I was like, yeah, Crystal Cox's line, I honestly forgot about it until the, pulling the clip today. So I'm gonna pick the other, I don't remember what the other one was, that Abby Maria? I was like, I'm picking the other one. And the number of outrageous comments I saw to my decision, it's like, first of all, it's my fucking decision. I get to choose whatever I want, right? These lines are subjective. Everyone can have an opinion. Third, yeah, I watched that season once. I've never watched it twice. It didn't hold, I don't hold it in a high regard like that. So I don't enjoy it. Like, is that illegal? No. Let me just have my opinion. But no, apparently not. If you like it more, you like it more. It's not that big. Exactly. But it's like unacceptable that I had this opinion. I just don't understand. <laughs> like, let me just say this is not a lie. Not the one for me. Um, our pick at 120 could be the Bronny James of the draft, though. I fucking called that. I was talking to Chappelle Papaya. And I don't think it's not like I'm like a messiah. I'm not saying like, oh, no one else thought of this. I'm sure a lot of people made this prediction. Um, but me and Chappelle were talking after the bracket. And he said, I think we were right about Bronny not getting dr drafted tonight. Probably tomorrow, though. I said, yup, I just don't see LeBron letting the Lakers leave him undrafted. Sure enough, 55th pick. Bronny's off the board. Don't yuck my yums. That's what I'm saying, Lori. I've always wondered what is lore behind less than two. Oppo, lovely question. It is a command. Hold on, let me see if it's still there. Less than two. There we go. Yeah, so basically, Oppo, as the command says, it started off as a typo of a less than three. I, my first six months of streaming, I was not an affiliate. I was not a Twitch partner, so I couldn't have any emotes. So we kind of co-opted it. We co-opted it, and we just kind of made this our thing. Um, and then it was kind of a show of like solidarity, love, support in the chat. And then it became my first emote. And then once we realized it rhymed with crew, it was lights out to be part name of the community. So it was easy, easy transition there to that. The funniest part is Rich Paul trying to hold Bronny hostage from other teams. LeBron's agent was calling teams demanding they not draft him and let him fall. Are you serious? I love your custom wooden sign crew and zoo. Hey, Opa, never forget the less than zoo, which was a short stint but the ogs remember yeah this this wooden sign is incredible i'm so grateful to uh liana sister marisa for uh, hooking it up it's amazing Pepe, i hear you're a wrestling fan am i right thoughts on uncle howdy and the wyatt six honestly i didn't watch the i wasn't watching raw live that night but watching the um was it on raw it was on raw yeah yeah Watching the the video after the fact, I was floored. Like, I'll tell you this, I was sick of the QR codes, the promote. I was like, this is taking way too long. It's like every time WWE was like, 
Oh, a new wrestler's coming. Here's 80 vignettes for 80 weeks. And then they're going to come in. They're going to squash a jobber. And then you're not going to see them again. I was like, I'm, I'm over this. I'm over the Uncle Howdy stuff. But when they debuted it the way they did, I was like, oh, this is fucking brilliant. I'm curious to see where it goes. But I've also not been keeping up with wrestling. Like, I've not been on top on top of the wrestling. He didn't say he was going to Australia if another team took him. Why? <laughs> I mean, I know that LeBron has always wanted uh, Bronny and him to be on the same team. But oh my God. Because wh what does that mean? Like, if, if, if Bronny got drafted by, say, the Phoenix Suns, how can they make him go to Australia? Hey, no worries, Valencia. There's no time limit on when you, you should know and learn about the stuff that goes on in the shadow. What means what? So it's all good. He wouldn't sign. He can choose. Oh, I didn't know this. You will never beat the Nepo baby allegations now. The reality is it didn't even... It didn't need to go this way for that to happen. Um, I feel like just by virtue of being the, the, the son of LeBron... If he got drafted at any point, they would have been like, yep, yeah, no, it's it's a Nepo thing. So it's not, I don't think it was, it was ever going to be like that big of a deal. <laughs> Sorry, with the prime, so thank you so much. Appreciate you. Welcome back for your 36 month. Uh, who's looking good in the Euros? So the Euros are the European Championships in soccer, aka football right now. They are in the knockout rounds. Beginning tomorrow, uh, the knockout rounds are. Let's look at the... Let me look at the bracket real quick. I still think Germany, Spain are the two top contenders right now after the first, um, the first round. I think you should keep an eye out for Austria. I think Austria could pull an upset. Um... As much as I want to root for England, I just do not feel confident in England right now. It's a little shaky. And France has been surprisingly shaky. I would have said France were a top contender as well, but, you know, we'll see. Germany and Spain are playing. The yeah, that is the fun part. Germany and Spain would end up, if they both win, they face each other. Which is a very fun outcome, in my opinion. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first time a father son are on the playing on the same team. Yes, like at the same time. Live, thank you for the forty fourth month. Live, appreciate you. Let's go, España. Listen, only thing I will say about Spain, because they, th I think they've been the best team in the tournament so far. Spain need to not go to penalties. In the last two tournaments they've been in, Spain has eaten ass in penalties, so they need to not go to penalties. Because I don't like that for them if they go to penalties. I don't think I've ever called Spain trash as a team. But you do you. <laughs> but yeah, England, when haven't we been shaky? England, it's like every time they go to a tournament, I look at the squad and I'm like, you know what? This could be the year. I can't wait. I'm excited. And then every tournament, they play the exact same. Scared, defensive, one goal, pullback. And then it's like they're tying with teams they should not be tying with. And low-key, facing Slovakia is the worst thing that could have happened to them. I think they needed a bigger team to face. Because this reminds me of when England faced Iceland a couple, was it a couple years ago? Yeah, a couple years ago. And they lost. This reminds me of that. I don't love it. Oh yeah, the Eurovision team, I, I'll say it again. Spain, this last Eurovision, were garbage. Were trash, trash. Gone were the days of Chanel with slow-mo. And it was a sad sight. The wrong person never seemed to make the better hole. Exactly. I think you need Southgate gone is what you need. All right. Next question. Just wanted to thank you and Jenny for the in-depth ear canal licking discussion this week. Yeah, if you do not watch the, um, or you do not listen to the MILF Matter podcast, you have no idea what that means. But there you go. Can't like people who s spell color with a U. What? Why? I spell it with a U. What about it? <laughs> 
Why was it crazy? Not the Zora slander. Is that what the name of the, the act was? I didn't like them, JC Pennyless. I just, they weren't mine at all. They weren't my vibe at all. <laughs> Are you watching Love Island USA? Yes, I'm fully caught up. Uh, so caught up that I watched tonight's episode before I hopped on. How about that? How about that, chat? I'm caught up. But I will not talk about it because I know some people haven't watched it yet. I don't want to alienate anybody. But I'm fully caught up. I didn't want to risk coming into stream and getting spoiled like on Twitter uh, tonight or anything like that. It's the first episode I've watched without Liana in a minute. Because we've been watching together and it's been delightful. If you had to sit down and watch an Olympic sport this summer, what would it be? I enjoy watching like the track and field days where they jump from like all the different track events. You know, it's like, oh, the, the, we've got like the sprint then we've got like a high jump, triple jump. I love watching that combination. It's always good for me. Um, besides that, I think diving is a fun one to watch. I think those are kind of like the ones potentially. Late tonight because I had to watch the mobile force play. That's fair, Chrissy. That's fair. Handball is underrated. Handball is a weird sport for me. Like, I've not really gotten into that. I've never watched Olympic basketball, but that could be fun for sure as well. If you could make something an Olympic event, what would you choose? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't have an answer for you. You're watching tonight's episode later. There we go, uh, Ben. You're good. You're good. Women's gymnastics is 100. That's also a good call, Scar Kill. I think that's a good choice as well. Man, this season of uh, Love Island has been incredible. Like, I definitely recommend it. When is the next Marbles lunch stream? When is the next lunch stream is a good question because I don't stream during the day like that. Um, the last time we did, the last, we've done it twice. Once was the 24 hour stream, once was the 12 hour stream. So I would say maybe the next 12 hour stream or the next 24 hour stream, perhaps. Sorry, she had one time replying to a message. All right, Olympic dodgeball could be fun. I agree, Olympic dodgeball could be fun. That would be a good time. Can't believe they're landing the Dutch foot. Oh my God, Topsy. I have not heard of this. Is Iran in the volleyball this time around? Iran's volleyball is actually pretty underrated. Like they're good at it, which is nice. We don't, we're not good at a lot of the Olympic events, but you know, the ones we're good at, they're not fun for me to watch. Like. Iran's usually a big threat in weightlifting and like wrestling and um, potentially volleyball, which would be the one I'd be interested in watching. But it's like, yeah, I'm not, wa the weightlifting's not fun to watch for me. But like, I feel like I was more into keeping up and watching the Olympics before. I'm not as on top of it as I used to be. I'm more on top of some of the other, um, the other shows, <laughs> shows. Events, sporting events, sorry. All right, I'm fully caught up with the form now, chat, which is a good thing. So we're fully caught up there. So now all the focus goes back here into the chat with the squad. Winter Olympics over the summer. 
what is the biggest the biggest highlight on a winter olympics is it the um because there's figure skating there's hockey there's um curling what are the other events oh yeah obviously oh skiing snowboard yeah yeah yeah. yeah. never mind there's a lot of good ones on the winter olympics there's a lot of good ones in the winter olympics this is true bobsled yeah no 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 winter's a winter's underrated is what i would say yeah winter's underrated in my opinion one more question in the form <laughs> good evening put your bees looks extra bushy today it that's because it is i had shaved it very very thin about a month ago it's finally growing back to the level it was so Maybe maintenance is coming up soon, but for now, I'm still happy with it. I just, I, the thing I need to start maintaining more, I think, is the mustache region. I think I need to slim this up more often. Because, yeah, I think I need to slim it up more often. That's the move. Because the mustache is what makes my face look smaller and the beard look even bigger. But if the, the um, this was trimmed up, it'd be better. Next 24 hour stream, when we shave the beard and keep the mustache? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That, I've said this before. The beard has not been fully removed since 2015, and it's not going to happen now. Liana's never seen me without it. I've said this before, but. And it's not going to begin now. Let me be honest with you. It ain't happening, chat. It ain't happening. It is not happening. It could be the top sub goal. No, not enough sub goals in the world, Papaya. I would not do it. Tom Foolery, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. My family just made me sit through the sound of music. I did not know the plot was that dark. I've, I don't think I've ever watched it, but also, isn't it like a six-hour movie? Sound of music. Runtime. It's three hours. Okay, never mind. It's not six hours. One million brown... Brownie points live? You think brownie points would do it? No. One million subs wouldn't do it. I'm not doing it for no amount. If I shave my beard, it's because either I want to or my body has decided it can no longer maintain a beard. That's it. Nothing else can change it for me. That's my feelings on that. <laughs> Chase chaotic, shave beard if you love your viewers. Wait, is this, hold on. Is this Chase Campus with a new name? Have you rebranded? You're now Chase Chaotic? Is a debut. Fuck off, Drake. You forgot you changed it. Well, I don't know how often you can change it back. Um, 100 No Shave Marbles versus one Mr. Mustache Marble? No, because if it lands on the Mr. Mustache, I won't do it. And then everyone will say rigged, bullshit. So no, absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, every two months? Okay. Cool, cool. Good to know. Good to know, chat. Uh, sorry if you answered, but have you had the viral Dubai chocolate Steph Kanaf inside? So this came up last week, question asker. I've not had them. I've not had them. I would try them, but I wouldn't seek them out. But what if you did it if it landed on it? No. Liana's never seen me without a beard. No. She's never seen me without this glorious mane that is a beard on my face. No one that I, that no one outside of like my immediate family and like my old friends have seen me without the beard. Like every RHAP person has met me with a beard on. Think of the content. What are, what content? Ooh, a shaving stream? Like what is the content, Papaya, besides that? <laughs> It's one of my number one, 10,000 subs. I told you, 100,000 subs. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not letting anyone decide the fate of my beard but myself. Um, it's one of my key features. Do you remember when America shaved Corey's mustache? I do indeed. Do y'all remember when Zach came into Blood on the Clock Tower last week? Got asked about his mustache, left, and then shaved it and came back? It was wild. Okay, so this question this question keeps coming. I want to pause the music. This question keeps coming up. Um, and this person, I'm not going to name any of the names that they're putting in here. Um, but I've been getting this question every like now and then. They'll be like, why don't you invite blank and blank to Goose Goose Duck? And obviously, I'm not going to do a question like that where I'm going to name the people as a question in the advice form and then be like, I'm not doing it for A, B, C, D or whatever reason. And then they asked it again in the feedback form earlier um, and called me stubborn for not asking people to certain people to play. And now they're saying that they went to the person and they told them that they've asked uh, me to consider doing it and that I've refused to even acknowledge it. Listen, I, I read every question. So I see these. The reason why I am even responding to this right now is please stop doing this. I've clearly seen what you've said. If I've chosen to not act on something, or if I've chosen to not do something that I'm being told, it's because I've made that decision. Please respect the decision. I have no beef with anybody. This is not drama or anything. This is just me making decisions that I think is best. And you know what the awful part is now? The person that you told knows that I'm acknowledging this. So I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but at the end of the day, I love my community. I love the people that I get to play games with, whether it's on stream, off stream. But I will also make the decisions I would like to make for what makes sense for my lobbies, what makes sense for who I raid, what makes sense for where we go and what we do. I will always ask for your input. Your input is welcome. Your feedback is always welcome. I always ask you to please give me feedback because I want it. But when you start calling me stubborn, when you start saying I refuse to acknowledge things, when you call me rude, all because I'm not going to name names names who might even be read like watch this vod names who might just look at what's going on here that's not healthy that's not healthy that's like if if someone put a question and said hey um Liv plays goose goose duck she enjoys it why isn't she in your lobby i and that and then i read the question out loud and i'm like well actually i feel like i wouldn't don't like i'm not putting people's names out there you know what i mean like that's i'm not gonna do that I'm not going to do that. Simple as. Anyway, I, I, the reason I wanted to stop down and talk about it. Um, why is that? Because you're trash, Liv. That's why. Um, but yeah, that's again, that's my feeling on it is that I read everything you say. So, you know, if you're in my feedback forum and, and you write stuff, whether it's feedback, whether it's criticism, whether it's support, whether it's shade, I read all of it. Don't worry. I see all of it. Um, so you don't got to worry about it. I see everything, but if I don't say anything, it's because I know better than to say anything because it's not a productive conversation. If I say something, All right. And question asker, I don't want you to feel like I'm angry with you. I don't know who you are. I'm just saying that it's frustrating to be told what I am and what I'm doing when I know that's not the case. So I hope you understand. All right. Whew. All right. What? Uh, let's see. I can't believe you won't let Jeff Probst join the lobby. I think Jeff Probst would be bad vibes. Or might not figure out the, the tech, if anything. Which rally set do you think would be good for that get out of the mansion show? I think Christian would be epic and that Omer and Dwight would be so fun. I don't know what the exact rules of it are, RHAP fan. I don't know what the exact rules of it are, if I'm being honest, to go from there. So, yeah.
How do you think BB will shoehorn in their AI theme this year until they forget about it in week three? Well, we all can agree on one thing, right? There's going to be something called the chat BBT for sure. Now, whether that's like the theme or it's the name of the third competition or something, I don't know. But I think that's the main thing. There's going to be a chat BBT or Zingbot is going to talk about how they got all their zings from the like Zing BBT or whatever is going to be. So that's one. Um, but it's going to be very half-ass. I agree with Night Cheese. I think it's going to be very half-ass. It's not going to be good. It's going to be awkward. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I just don't think they're going to do a good job of it. But again, the fact that it's two years after when AI would have been topical is not lost on me. It's very big brother. If, a <laughs> and that's the thing, if they actually did AI and it did a better season, they would look stupid. So <laughs> it's going to look very dumb, very, very dumb. Will a Hawk to a parody make it into Big Brother this summer? It is way too early, way too early for a Hawk to a parody on Big Brother. Big Brother 28? Yes. Big Brother 26? No. Will it be as good as Max? Absolutely not, Kelly Kate. I don't think so. I'm Julie. I'm refusing to come into work one day and making them do a Chambot host episode. That'd be funny. Can I scare that because there's a two-night premiere? We may not we may have a night one eviction in our hands. I'm okay with not having night one feeds if it means we don't have a night one eviction. That's the one okay, that's the thing that'll make me feel okay. Because night one eviction is unequivocally the worst way to start Big Brother, in my opinion. There's nothing quite like finding someone you connect with and like and then see them go home and then even if it's not someone you like just someone who like was excited to play the game has to go home night one would be brutal and i don't want that wish that on anybody uh ooh, a goose goose question chat let me pause music for this one how do you feel about some of the beefs that happened during goose goose duck I notice some players take it personally when some games don't go their way and keep dragging it. It makes me feel bad for the other players who get targeted, to be honest. Um, I mean, I don't love it. <laughs> I don't love the beefs. Um, and I think there's a difference between like the beefs and the quote rivalries. Like, I think the rivalries are very tongue in cheek. Like when me and Amon have a rivalry, it's, it's never like big mad energy, but I definitely feel like I've been part of, I've been on the receiving end of the big mad energy and I have had big mad energy before, you know, there's 180 of these streams that are that have proof of it that, um, you know, I had moments where I've just been very frustrated. I, I take, I walk away for a little bit. Um, it, it comes with the territory. It really does. Um, but I wish that people could just do that where if they're frustrated or upset, they can take it, take the quick, like pause for themselves and then come back and just like reset play and not stay there and then take it out on other, like the person that they're upset with, what I would hope for that. Um, but also if I'm being very honest with you, I typically don't watch um, when things start getting a little uncomfy or I feel like there is a beef brewing, I will definitely talk to y'all and said, I don't want to be a part of it because I also don't want it to be, I don't want it to be broadcast to the community and then people like then piling on or anything like that. I'm like, it's between them. Ironically enough, it is broadcast, but I'm like, I don't want no part of this, no part of this beef. You know, I'm like, I'm an outsider. Let me just do my own thing. Hang out with my people, hang out with my stream. So yeah, press mute and scream. That's my favorite thing. Just yelled myself. <laughs> But I mean, it's this again. It's the reality is these games, they happen. Sometimes, it's it's fun, and by fun I mean sometimes it's like goofy beef. Sometimes the beef can maybe cross the line and be a little serious beef. But ultimately, none of it truly matters. And I truly hope slash do not think anyone's leaving these games with the beefs carrying on. If that makes sense. So yeah. I think like 98% of the time, everything's Gucci. Although when Terran plays petty, it's so funny. I don't know how Terran's playing and walking at the same time now. That doesn't compute to me. I want to try to build the Big Brother house in The Sims. Speaking of, major sale through 7-Eleven and also a Steam sale. I did see the Steam sale because, love, 
is the major EA sale include sim stuff, I imagine? Overall, it feels like to me that everyone enjoys each other. I would say that's the overwhelming feeling I have, is that most people, yes, fuck with each other. And the energy is like, everyone's good with each other, if that makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I do enjoy when Terrence is very entertaining, says DD Wilder. I think the Beast are fun, but I prefer less of the random murders early on in the first couple of games. I know it's not bad intentions, just a tough way to start. Um, I agree. I agree. You know how you know where I stand on this. Um and and you know, if we're gonna pause and be honest with each other for a second, um That's like Omer frustrated me two weeks ago, chat. I was at like I was like being kind of shady uh with omer like being a little extra shady but i was genuinely irritated with him because i feel like it wasn't the first time that i've invited omer to the lobby he comes in ryanair hello welcome in hope you're doing well uh newcomer just followed just joined what are you looking for the discord for exactly what you looking for ryanair huh hmm? tell us more tell us more friend um I wouldn't say I was actually mad. Like, mad implies that I'm, like, angry. But I was very irritated because I spend... Like, for everyone else, Goose Goose begins looking for the nud. That is not a thing. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Ryan. Would you like to leave? Would you like to leave or you would like to stay? You let me know. Uh, because love thing with 100 bits. AZ thing with a 10 bits. Appreciate it. Um... For everyone else, Goose Goose starts at 5 p.m. Eastern. For me, Goose Goose starts days in advance. From getting all the guests, making sure everyone's down to play, sending the codes out, getting the graphic together, tweeting it out, making sure everyone's got the right Discord permissions, um, and all of that. So all that starts, and also, like, I've got the, I know I'm playing the whole week, right? So to get in the game, finally, like, corral everybody to join the game, wait for everyone to get ready, if there's a new rule change or rule, explaining that before we start. New person coming in, making sure they're having a good time. Only to then have Omer walk in and not speak. I think the biggest thing that gets me, Chad, is when you walk into game one, into a room where I'm with three other people. We're just chilling. And then you don't talk and you kill me? I don't care if I had the best role or the worst role. That's just frustrating because it's game one too. And I know, and, and y'all know, because obviously we've been playing for so long. The first game is a long game almost always because people are just talking and catching up because they've not really got a chance to talk during the week. Some banter here, banter there, that kind of vibe. So it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. So then when I get, died early, I was like, well, damn, I'm out for 15 minutes now. Um... But yeah. All right, let me scroll back up real quick. Yeah, I can imagine this frustrating. He's fun to watch, but I bet he can be frustrating to play with. Well, that's the thing. I love having him in the game. Hey, him having horrendous reads is funny to me, uh, or blind accusations are funny to me. It's just that one little thing of like, bro, just don't do And I, I'm not saying I should be the only one that doesn't get killed here. I think just anybody. Don't do this in the first game. The whole reason chaos rounds at, at the after or a thing is so that you can do that with no rhyme or reason. And then sometimes I feel like people in the chaos rounds take it way too seriously. I'm like, this is the chaos games. There's seven people. You don't need to have a rhyme or reason for working with each other or killing each other or anything. Um, <laughs> like we don't need to care in the chaos rounds, but you know, it's funny because you get both things anyway. Um. <laughs> Hey, Chase, thank you for the gift that's up to JC Penniless. Appreciate you. Um, I told you to get a cheeky vision out to kill for funsies. It's just the first rounds ones on side are tough for the viewing side. Exactly. Exactly, Mandy. I do wonder whether there should be a rule about random Avenger kills since it doesn't seem to it does seem to frustrate some players. Listen, I've said this when we did the bracket. When it was was it the bracket or was it um no 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 no. 
The last time we did Absolute Audacity was me, uh, Lavina, Scally, and Dwight. I talked about how Avenger is one of my least favorite roles, and it's because I don't mind the getting a cheeky Avenger, especially, again, Chaos Rounds is a whole different topic. Like, do whatever you want to do. But when it's the second game of the session, and you are the Avenger, and all you care about is killing someone, and you're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to find the duck and just work with them. It does kind of cheapen the game a little bit because already when it's a bigger lobby, there's three ducks. So now you're just an accessory to them, um, which is which can be tough. But I'm not even I don't even mind that. Let that happen. Whatever. If I die by it, I might be a little salty. I can move on. It's fine. It's fine because I think there's good when there's good chaos. It's a good time. It's fun. Um, the thing that I don't like and this has happened in the past. I feel like there definitely have been occasions where people get selective about who's allowed to do what thing. Like one player will say, it's okay if I Avenger, I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. But if another person does it, they give them ver a lot of heat, which I don't like. That that I don't like, that I can't co-sign. If you're someone who finds, as an Avenger, finds the duck, finds the Falcon, works with them, cool, that's cool. But then you can't be mad if a second person does the same thing and you die as a result, or a third person does a thing and you die as a result. Like if you're willing to do it, other people should be allowed to do it too. That's kind of more so what I care about. Um, but yeah. Now, Mandy, I don't think it was fully, uh, I don't think it was fully like uh, malicious either, to be honest. Oh yeah, to talk about the rule thing, TVness. I don't think I I've said this before. I don't want to set rules. I feel like rules are barriers to entry and I don't want to invite someone to play for the first time. I'm like, Hey, just so you know, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Do not call a meeting. They'll get mad at you. Don't, if, if someone says don't report the body, don't like, no, that is ridiculous. I can't do that. We for like a couple weeks said no button anymore. And now people get mad for the button, which is literally a function of the game and should be allowed to be used. But then because of the ruling that we did for like a month, now people are like, I know this person's bad, but I don't want to press the button because I don't want them to be mad at me. That's going to be tough, but I kind of want to press the button. And then like they press the, they go to the meeting, the person doesn't get voted out. Then the person calls the meeting and everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't call. Like, I hate it. I hate all that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I feel like we should just play to play, be mindful of each other. That's it. Like notice this last uh, week we did the carnival and we did have a soft rule of don't use the bunny Sabo. Like when there's like four people left or three people, people were using it. And I was like, I don't give a damn, whatever. Let the game be the game. Cause you know, ultimately we could have played a hundred games that night. I couldn't tell you how many I won. I could tell you I had one of the best Dota wins of all time. But I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Like me personally, once the that game is over, unless I'm like doing a jokey feud with someone, that's what I'm going to keep remember and move on to. Everything else is brand new. Thank you for the lesson twos. Get them in the chat. Um. But yeah, just stuff like that. I don't know. Sounds like unwritten rules in baseball. I hate those. Exactly. Yeah, and then people don't know about the rule change. Some people won't be there for two weeks. They'll come and like, are we still doing this? It's like, no, like it's too much to keep up with. But I wish I could like let everyone know, remind everyone like, hey, um, just remember that every single person that's in this lobby is here to have fun. And no one is actively trying to target you to take your fun away from you. Just play the game. Just have a good time. Play the game. And let's make sure we all leave here having had a good time. And I feel like that's my like biggest thing I want to say. Um, plus, there's gonna be someone who says the rules infringing on their fun. This like people will find rules helpful for their fun. Exactly. There's no pleasing everyone. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Um. But yeah, you know, there's some some players in the lobby that get actively mad when the when the pigeon wins and then there's some people that get mad when this roll like eh. i can't please everyone but i can make sure everyone leaves in a good mood that's kind of my the main thing i chase when i when i host 
It's funny how these games develop their own culture. I was on Dwight's stream the other day watching Clock Tower and some people watching were so mad that people were talking over him. They were used to the other Clock Tower streams. I have watched Dwight's uh, VODs after the fact. And I definitely feel like there is some commenting like that, that they feel like too many of us are, are talking over him or being a little shady too much. I'm like, I get that for sure. I understand. But you're not wrong. I feel like every lobby has their kind of their own uh, their own shit going on. It seems like everyone could share their experience of the button in this case and then decide if it will affect their future play or not. Well, that's the thing, Kelly Kid, is that if it was the same, if my lobbies were closed, like heavy closed, like we're talking close the gates closed and it was the same 15, 16 people, that makes sense. But there's rotations. There's new people coming in, new people coming back after a long, de a long departure. So it's not like that would even work. That would be too complex. If you could delete one meaningful role from Goose Goose, no Goose Gravy, what would it be? Honestly, Avenger. <laughs> uh, or, or, or the fucking celebrity. I hate, 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 hate that if you, if there's a celebrity and they die and you don't gasp, you're bad or, you know, whatever. I hate that people use that so like hard. I hate it. I hate it. I would say celebrity can go. At least the Avenger, there's opportunities for like, oh, you caught someone killed from the corner of your screen, you might be able to get a revenge on them. Um, so yeah, no, celebrity can go. Pigeon's fine. I like Pigeon because it dissuades people from potentially grouping up a little bit, which I don't mind a group up. I think that's one of the other things. Some people complain about grouping up a lot. And I'm like, it's a social game where people are gonna chat. If you want people to, not be together don't make the light sabo or um <laughs> kill a little faster or ki like kill in the dark when you get a chance um so i feel like the ducks have more control of that i do agree though like a, a final six and like set, five people gang up that's like not fun but also whatever who cares it's a game we get revenge in the next one you know um all right, let me go. Oh, where was I? A pet peeve of mine is when someone on the new mole uses alliance instead of coalition. It hurts my soul. Why, RTV fan? Um, I don't think I wrote that well. I just mean... Hold on, sorry. I'm trying to find the song I want to land on here. There we go. Um, as me, instead of creating a rule, people can just share their experience in the moment. People who are there can hear it and either take it into consideration in the play style choices or not. I feel like that already happens. I feel like people will be like, man, everyone's grouping up and then nothing really comes of it kind of thing. Fully agree on the celeb take. It has no value. Yes, Yam, that's right. I hate any role that opposes mine. Just let me win, please, and thank you. Yeah, no, no, Sam. <laughs> uh, crushing a celeb situation recently. I'm still not over it. Two ducks. Uh... Two ducks out over one celeb ping is tragic. What? Oh, over one celeb ping. I see. Yeah, no, that's brutal, Mandy. I like what Pigeon brings to the game in the sense that it discourages grouping, but Pigeon wins are so anticlimactic, just negates everything else that happened in the game. I disagree, Delon. Have you? Some of these Pigeon wins we get are incredible. Like when the um when the Pelican ends up eating the wrong person and the Pigeon wins because now everyone that they needed to sneeze on is sneezed on. Or when the pigeon gets a vote out win at the meeting. I love those wins. I really love those wins. Those are very fun. Um, and I feel like a pigeon win can be done very like discreetly and fun as well. I don't know. I don't mind the pigeon that much. All right, we can go to the next question now. I have not seen the trailer for the new Sims pack coming out next month. No. Hold on. I If someone has a link to this, I would like to see it. There was a Reddit thread a while back about beef with you and Taryn regarding Goose Goose Duck. Any truth? Spill the tea. Where is the Reddit thread? Let's look at it together. Where is this Reddit thread? Where is this Reddit thread? I would like to see it. What, what goddamn subreddit would that be on? Is my number one question. You didn't give me a link. You gotta give me the receipts. Was it on mine? I doubt it was on mine. 
because my Reddit is dead. <laughs> it's just like we we were squatting on the name. Is it on like the is there a Goose Goose Reddit? Is that what it is? I need to see what it says. Goose Goose Duck Reddit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Nicole. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go make some popcorn. Get ready. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming if the person who asked is asking, they must know where the link is and they'll link it in the follow-up questionnaire. So I'll just keep an eye in the form, see if they give us the uh, link. Um, GGD roll tier list. I think we're getting close enough to... <laughs> Mandy's like, please send the link now. Um, I think we're getting close to a world where we do a tier list for Goose Goose rolls, for sure. Uh, were you ever a Dr. Disrespect fan? Ruined his entire career in a second. I never was. Uh, thankfully, I can say this. I was never a Dr. Disrespect fan, um, nor a Nick Merckx fan. Just that kind of content never appealed to me. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm happy that uh, the comeuppance is coming. Ooh, what is this? Any interest in playing? What is this game? Hold on. Oh my god, this game would be very frustrating. But could be fun. Any interest in playing the game chained together and who would you play it with? This would be a very fun game to play, I think. Um, it's basically, it looks like an only up, but you are chained together with friends. And you have to all get through it. It's basically only up, but with more people. And it's a very new game. It's nine days old. I would actually be very down to do this. I'd love to see you do it with the mods. Would the mods want to play? That's the question. That's the question. Russ and Taryn played only up. As did I. Oh my god, I think this is very much like an only up ripoff. Um, I think I would I think I have some people I would consider. Okay, you know what? Let me cook with this. Let me uh let me add this to my cart so I can keep an eye on it. I think I've got a couple directions I could go with this one. What kind of music do you enjoy? Do you have a favorite album or song? I really don't have a favorite. Um, I listen to a lot of different stuff. A lot of different stuff. It's called uh, Chained Together. Sounds like a friendship ending game. You got to find the right people. For it to not end any friendships. <laughs> but no, I listen to a variety of different songs. Sometimes... I'm in my rap bag, sometimes I'm in my slower bag, sometimes I'm in the EDM bag. We're all over the place. All right. Oh, there we go, Russ. <laughs> you can ask Dan Geesling. <laughs> All right, next question is, are you watching the mole? Muna is on. I've not watched it yet. I do intend on it, but I've not checked it out yet. Thoughts on Muna being on the mole? Um, cool. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. You know, I'm happy for her. If that's the show she wanted to get on, uh, hopefully she does well. But I haven't checked yet, so I have no idea. It took Dan like 60 hours to beat only up. I, how long did it take me, you reckon? Yeah, after I found out I have beef with Terran, I don't think I can play games with him anymore. <laughs> uh, let me see. I still have, do I still have only up on my... Uh... I played a total of 24.4 hours of only up. Um, and I stopped playing after I beat it the last time, so... That should tell you everything. 24 hours. Just a little over. Still looking for the mysterious Reddit though, but I did find a top comment about how you and Leon are palkable. Well, that's very nice, Blue Daisies. We love that. Um, gonna make for some real awkward Fridays. Yeah. Booyah Fridays are gonna be awkward as fuck. Did you ever watch the movie Up? I have not. Damn, Red Wings. How did it take Dan this long? I feel like Dan's really good at games. Like, better than I would be. 
Yeah, I don't have any beefs with Terran. We're good. We've definitely had some, like, tough moments in the early days or, like, in the past, I would say. But that was a long time ago. And we, we squashed all that real quick. Um, how long have y'all been playing your weekly Goose Goose Duck games? So we just did a hundred, the lobby number 180 this week, past week. And it officially started in October of 2020. So obviously there's been some gaps in the middle there somewhere. Hey, Sarah Gray, welcome and hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope your Friday night's been good so far. Thank you for joining us. Oh my God, Jesse, is your cat okay? Oh. Okay, well, that definitely adds to the... Okay, so he definitely finished it faster then. I don't know how many days he played it, like... Because if he left it on, did he play it for like three days and it was on for the three days for the sleeping hours? I don't know. How many hours of Goose Goose? Oh, you want me to check on Steam? Hold on. Goose Goose Duck. I have... You're going to love this, chat. My playtime for Goose Goose Duck is 690.8. 69, 690, nice, 0. 0.8. So about 691. 691. But yeah, there you go. 691 hours of Goose Goose Duck. Which, if we compare that to Among Us... 478. So I played more Goose Goose than I have Among Us now officially. Um, and I've played 40 hours more Goose Goose than I have Fall Guys. Hey, Chase, thank you for the 691 bits. Appreciate it. I saw this game on YouTube. Would love to see you play this game. Let me just open it up while having so YouTube muted because I don't know what you're sending me. It's Rick Astley. Yeah, see, I knew I knew you were trying to do some shady. It ain't gonna work. You gotta you gotta wake up a lot earlier to try and get me, chat. If you can handpick the next BB House guest, eight have to be previous players and the other eight have to be RHP members. Oof, like podcasters. Um Well, number one, I would like Taryn put in the um I would like to put Terran in that house. I would like to finally get the answer of how Terran would do playing Big Brother. Um, I would put Terran in there. I also would like to see how Melissa does. And the reason I'm picking those two out the gate is because I've not seen them. Obviously, we saw Terran play uh, an org um, when he played the influencer version. But I was curious to see how he would do in a different game. Um, Melissa also played in the one RHB one. But I think Melissa got a raw deal that one. Um, then I would put in Kirsten, I would put in Scally, I would put in Chappelle, that is a total of five. I would put in Sasha, that's six. I would put Mary and Mari, that's eight. So that's the eight on the Big Brother uh, RGB member side. Previous players, I'm a lot more open with this. I could either way, it doesn't matter to me, any combination we can figure out and do, that would be good. I don't want to put in myself, absolutely not. I could have put in Amon, but also I, I think it's fun that um, Amon got uh, snubbed. <laughs> I kid. I kid. I could only pick eight, chat. Someone had to get... Once I say eight names, you're not going to catch me dropping down. um, Like being like, okay, I'll remove this person and put this other person in, you know? Like that ain't going to happen at that point. <laughs> it's too late but Amon would have definitely been part of it too for sure uh, what are your feelings on potentially playing a new game on Sunday in place of Goose Goose every once in a while I don't necessarily have my own opinion on if I prefer that or not I was just curious hearing your thoughts I'd of course watch whatever it was insert smile here lesson 2 appreciate that question thank you who is this age I keep seeing the name I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not pixie but Asia is a podcaster on RHAP, a friend of ours who uh, also has played Goose Goose with us in the past as well. Um, who may be coming uh, 
<laughs> to a TV screen near you in the fall. Um, so this has come up before. People ask, like, why not play this game instead or whatever? I think my response has always been the same because it's become such a part of both my schedule and a lot of your schedules where it's Goose Goose Sundays or it's Among Us Sundays. It's like that Sunday, that's the game we're playing. And I would hate to change up the programming if anything, if there's like a new game, like this Chain Together game, for example, I think I'm actually intrigued enough to try and find people to play it. I would do that on a separate day. I would not do that on the Sunday in place of Goose Goose because that's what that day is for. You know, it's like on our Wednesdays, we are pink and on Sundays, we play Goose Goose. That's kind of been the thing. Um, and as far as streaming, for me, it's Goose Goose. Like that day has to be Goose Goose or nada. Um, so it would be, and I don't know, like I, I know that um, of our friends, I think I'm one of the few who is like, this is a locked in schedule. Like this is the programming this night, this day. And that is one of my big ones, right? Goose Goose is Sundays. Um, and also playing a new game. If it's like a game that only four people can play, then it's like, mm, like, you know, I don't know. But yeah, but yeah. I appreciate the question as always. And uh, glad I could give you my two cents. Any update on the cruise now that you're a citizen can get a passport? I've not talked to Rob yet. I've not been like, all right, I'm in. So I have to talk. If you could revive one reality show other than BB Can Rip, what would it be and why would it be Hunted? Hunted is a great uh, candidate, but I would go with The Genius or um, Circle UK before I would go with Hunted. One of those two shows for me would 100% be the move first. My personal feelings on it. Well, so it's up to you in chat. It's the Steam Summer Sale right now. So a lot of good deals on games. There we go. And chat, if you ever recommend any games to me to play, it, like in the feedback form, please link the Steam link as well. So I can just click it. And if I, it appeals to me, I can immediately add it to my cart or wish list so that I don't forget about it. Oh my God, Mandy, already you've fallen victim? Have I finished all the wheel spin tasks? No, there's still a few of them there um, that need to be fulfilled at some point. Uh, what happened to Brent from RHAP? I'll keep this one short. Um, Brent from RHAP, there was some not so good comments made by Brent on um, not even, I think a lot of people think Big Brother podcast, but on um, some other podcasts. And there was definitely a lot of people, both audience and otherwise, that were not happy with these comments and with the way that it was being conducted. And I think my personal take is that I feel like it was a long time coming. And so the exit happened. Kroos, not the goddamn chair simulator. Let the chair simulator go, Kroos. <laughs> I have to watch the next wheel spin tasks. Let me see, there's not a lot of them left. There's a couple of food ones that we still need to do. Um, there is the, um, one of them is Civ, which Civ is gonna be hard, the one of the harder ones to put together because it's both time consuming and um, it would require people who want to play Civ. Uh, Mario Kart is one, which that's doable, definitely. Um, Liana doing my eye makeup is still on here. Some some variety version of the 100 Baby Challenge is still on here. Pico Park is still on here. Bean Boozle, which I think I've actually stocked up some good Bean Boozles now. We still have a few. So if it's like $3. Mandy, get it. <laughs> I already own it, and it's a great game. Make no mistake, I do love Civ. I really do. I really, really do. Um, let's fight settle this. Who is the better BB player, Tyler Crispin or Brett Robinson? Um, what? Is this a debate that people need settling? Witcher 3 is amazing too. I own Witcher on my Xbox, but I also don't use it anymore. So maybe I should just buy it there. 100 Baby is hard because love. I need a different ruling. I need a different set of rules for 100 Baby that I could do in like one sitting, like one stream. Because... I don't think I'm gonna, I have it in me to do a whole other Sim series unless we ever brought back the multiplayer series again. But I'm not doing a solo Sim series on my stream again unless something absolutely new, like Sims 5 happened. Um, 
So I would have to figure out how I could do one stream's worth and how we can make that happen. Oof. Someone asked me what I thought about the debate last night. Honestly, I, I streamed to get distracted from the debate. It was a lot. It was also my first debate that I've watched this early. Like, usually I feel like I watch stuff later, closer to the election. But it was a lot. And I didn't. It was it was too much. So, um, th that's my that's my thoughts. <laughs> cool. I loved hearing, getting to hear your two cents. Thanks. Hey, no worries. Thanks for asking the question. Appreciate it, friend. Uh, what do you think about what happened to Marco last night? Uh, absolutely a tragic event. Um, tragic event, what happened to Margo. We didn't love it. Do you need help writing up the new 100 baby rules or something? No, I just need someone to help me with, like, compacting the rules where it's like we can still do a 100 baby-esque stream, but it isn't the, all right, and that you have to grow them into an adult and they have to find a job, then it counts as you, you had one. You know, I need the, someone to loosen it so that I can do a little bit, so I can do it in one sitting, one stream, as opposed to like the entire thing, if that makes sense. Not to get too deep into it, but I can't imagine how difficult it is for Rob to do his typical boss things in the podcast setting versus typical nine to five coworker relationship. He handles it like a champ. Rob is incredible with handling this conflict stuff. Um, and like, these conversations and stuff from my personal experience obviously uh breaking news got another sadly not this sunday <laughs> from someone that i had asked before um <laughs> the cancellation was canceled so also i don't think there was a reddit thread now chat i think the person just kind of was like maybe causing a little fun shade or something i don't know I had to avoid it for my mental health. Honestly, that's very fair, Sarah. Uh, do you love Tasha's host of the GOAT? I really do. Frankly, he would be a much better host of the new mold than Alistair. All right. Can I be honest with you, chat? I watched a total of one episode of the GOAT. I never went back to it. And then I got spoiled on it. So I didn't really think about checking it out and catching up. Is that okay? Or was it really good and I had to watch it? Don't say who the winner was or anything in case I see Amy saying that uh, Amy needs to catch up on it. So what I'm hearing is Priya wants to make 100 Sims babies but not grow them into adulthood. Got it. No, I'm just trying to figure out how we can make it a one sitting sitch, you know? Promise I'm going to move on from the Steam sale soon. But one more thing. Recommendation for Liana. The Witness on a good sale. If she likes tiles, I think she'd like it. The Witness. Let me look this up. Uh, orange, orange game. You wake up alone on a strange island full of puzzles that will challenge and surprise you. That one. It's one of your favorites. I'm going to add it and I'm going to buy it for her as a present. I'm going to add it and buy it for her as a present. I think she'll like it. If you're given the vouch too, I'm sure you, she'll like it. <laughs> Sarcasm? No, Chris, I, I, I caught it. <laughs> I think you'd enjoy Tashi's so funny in it. No spoilers on finale yet. Yeah, I just skipped to see who got eliminated every week. Oh my, Scar Kel. Remember that time you and Liana had a daughter, then a granddaughter? Was that in the multiplayer series? Probably, right? The Nick Cannon of streaming. Okay, all right. Pixie, you might catch a ban for that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that might be it. That might do it. When is the great game? This is another vouch from Somnus. We'll never forget Cronut. All right, next question. Uh, do you think the Big Brother Bible legal issues with CBS is real or did they make it up for book promotion? No idea. No idea. I didn't think about it too much, honestly, because even it, like, let's be realistic. How much promo was that? I forgot that happened. You know, I don't think it was promo. But also, if it wasn't promo, I don't think posting it was the right move. But are we Marvin tonight? Kroos, I'm not sure. I was like, I was going to play it by ear and see where we go with the stream. I think we can do like a cheeky three, maybe five. But I might have to be a little quieter on commentary. I've been having some like throat issues and I need to rest up the old throat. 
So, if y'all are okay with a more quiet commentary, potentially we can do some marbles. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, if you're babies and you age the kids up faster. Okay, so Softy, hypothetically, how many babies would you say for the challenge? If we use our brownie points on a tier list suggestion, is it a guarantee or just a high chance? Thanks. Um, it's neither tier list suggestions with the brownie points, which I still need to revamp. I need to revamp the brownie points uh, system. But tier list suggestions go into... All right, Kroos, we can do that. Um, tier list suggestions puts them in the goblet, and then a goblet draw will have only those ideas in it. So you could give me a suggestion without using brownie points, and if I really like it and I can make it work, I'll put it on my personal list and I can go from there. Um, so you don't have to use your brownie points for it. The brownie points only puts it in the goblet, and then maybe in the goblet you can get it, if that makes sense. But I, like I said, I still need to revamp it. In some capacity. Is tip okay. <laughs> Not for me. Um Puya, watching you play the creepy survivor game the other day was so freaking hilarious. A uh, lol. If you could change one thing about Survivor, what would it be? Uh right now, six person tribes. I would make it two tribes of nine or ten, to be frank. No more six person tribes. That was your question? Oh, cool, cool, Heather. Sounds good, sounds good. But yeah, that would be my number one change right now. Team black or team green? Hold on. Let me see who's on what team. And I know this is about a uh, fucking... Uh, House of the Dragon. I just don't know who's on which side. Twenty-five seems like a lot for one sitting. How much? How many hours do you think twenty-five would be? Chat. Who's on what side on these uh, team black versus team green? I feel like I like people on each side, but. Um, I'm not on the side. I'm on the side with not Allison Hightower. All right, Team Black it is then. Team Black it is then. Fuck the Hightowers. <laughs> All right. Ah, good answer, Archie Van. Good answer. But I just watched my the second episode after the bracket on Wednesday. Um, meaning you're anti Chappelle, that's fine. It's it's the least surprising thing that Chappelle has this take. Um, so, who is Margot? Uh, Margot's from the creepy survivor game that we played last night. Question asker. Uh, if you watch the VOD, you'll see a character named Margot in that game. Uh, new fan here. Welcome, a new fan. Do you during BB? Do you stream episode watch parties? What kind of BB content do you host? So I stream. Thank you. Um, I don't do a watch party. Um, Taryn pretty much does a watch party every for every episode. So it would be relatively futile for me to also do the same thing at the same time. Um, we've talked about doing one or two together, like as a collab, or like we just watch together at the same time and do the, like the party stream thing. But um, otherwise I watch with Liana, so I don't do watch parties. But I will tell you this, uh, question asker, the pad is kind of my one big brother stream a week <laughs> during the big brother season it's still this like we still do the regular chat you can ask any question but a lot of the questions become big brother heavy and will you i'll usually have the feeds open in the corner to check out if someone says oh something's happening check it out so there's that um and then um oh uh, if like the pressure cooker happens again or like a wall comp Basically, any feed, a comp that we can watch on feeds, I'll be live for to watch with y'all. Because um, typically, um, I want to watch them immediately. So I'll be down to stay up and, and check that out and watch with y'all the comps. Because I think watching the comps is way more fun with people. So if there's another one of those that happens, that's what we can do, okay? Okay, cool, cool. 
Uh, thoughts on being friends with someone you used to date? Uh, bracket not seriously. Even though it didn't work out, we were pretty good friends before our relationship developed in the way in that way. And we've agreed that it feels worse to pretend we don't still fuck with each other as people and we still operate in the same spaces. I am very much in support of being friends with someone you used to date. Not in a you must be friends with everyone you've dated or not be friends with anyone you've dated. I don't think it's a it's a uh, all or nothing thing. I think it depends on the relationship you had with the person. But it sounds like you were not even dating that seriously. So yeah, absolutely fine with me. Obviously, if you're um, if you're in a relationship right now and they might not like that you're friends with this person, that's like a whole conversation you should have with them though. But you know. no more snakes though. A hundred percent. And don't put snakes in my pressure cooker, please. I was bricking it that night. Didn't like that. If Survivor changed, still changed locations every season like they did back in the day, where would you want them to go? I don't care. I would like, just go everywhere, please and thank you. Just just travel as in as many places and go to as many places as possible. Because that was my biggest, I, I love the mystery of where you're going to take us. But it's not like I'm going to be able to tell you, oh, these locations are where you should go. Because I'm not good at that stuff. I'm not good at that stuff. But... As long as they change locations, I don't mind where they go. I know it's not the answer you wanted, but it's my truth. Okay, question asker. <laughs> um, let's see. Where's the next question at? Will you be contested on BB Family Feud? Spoiler alert. Yes, I will be. Yes, I will be. I'm excited. It should be fun. Ooh, this is a longer question. So, I'm in love, like butterflies in my stomach, harps playing in my head every time I look at her kind of love. I've never been happier, and I would say just about every aspect of our relationship is perfect. My only issue is that my girlfriend keeps asking to milk me. At first, I thought she was joking around, but she's brought it up a ton of times now. To be honest, I didn't even really know what that meant. I'm assuming, like, jerk you off. I thought she just meant edging or something, but when I mentioned something about it to her one time, she corrected me and said, no, prost okay, um, prostate milking. I did a bit of research, and I'm pretty sure she wants to do butt stuff to me. This is all uncharted territory for me. So I did some Googling, and I realized I know very little about what's going on with my prostate. Our sex life is very adventurous and open-minded, and we've both said we'll try just about anything once, and she seems really into giving this a go. I'm willing to try it, but I'm nervous and don't really know what to do, what to expect. Do you have any advice on how to prep or what I should do? Um, I have no advice uh, because I this is not something I've explored before. Um... If you're not comfortable with it, just tell her you're not comfortable with it. I think that's the number one thing to keep in mind. Um, sounds like you're very happy, healthy relationships. I think you can be honest. I think you're fine there. Um, but if you're willing to give it a try and, and you want to see how it goes, you can even ask her. You just be like, I've never done this. How do you go about doing this? So it's for you. You know, it's again, sounds like you're in a good relationship. I think you just ask them and just be honest about how you feel about it with them. Yo, chat came alive. Y'all have been messaging very sporadically for the last like 10 minutes. Suddenly we were talking about a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a dirtier question and everyone comes out the woodwork chat. What is this, huh? Hmm, 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 hmm. Everyone came out of lurk mode suddenly at the same time. <laughs> Filled out the family feud survey. Great questions. Is it only our JVL or people? As well, like the millionaire game. Um, I don't know, Heather. I'm not a part. I know I'm a guest on it. I have no idea what the entire group looks like. So we'll see. We'll find out together. We'll find out together. Not you calling me out. <laughs> no shade, no shade, no shade. But no, I think honestly, if it's the best policy, she seems like, you know, she, you and her seem to have good communication. I think just be honest whether you don't want to do it or if you want to do it and you don't know what to exactly do or you're not experiencing this, just be honest with them. And if they... uh they're about that they'll you know talk to you but oh you can ask anything you want in this uh in this community but if it's if it's too much i would end up you know i would not read it or or answer it if that makes sense or if i feel like okay this is not appropriate i've already skipped like two or three questions tonight um what are your real feelings on cancel culture when people say problematic things on the feeds, I genuinely feel so bad for people when they come out of the house. The world is getting more and more difficult as it is. Uh, what is the best way to treat people online after a majority of fans cancel them? Like sometimes they just want to leave a nice message so they don't feel bad about themselves, but that doesn't mean I support their actions, you know? Um, I think the reality is this for me. 
I think there are terms in the world that I just think have been ruined by people. Cancel culture is a dumb phrase. Um, I, I unfortunately feel like the, the term woke has been ruined. Like stuff like that has been ruined and, and like done to death. Um, but that's a different thing to what you're asking. I think if you say toxic, problematic shit, for me, that's enough. Like, for example, if um, if someone was to use a, not a slur, but they use like a really bad cuss word that they shouldn't, I'm not like out on that person necessarily, especially if they seem remorseful, that's fine. If they use a slur 99% of the time, I'm out. Like it's over. Um, Cause like, for me, that's not cool. Um, misogyny, not cool racism not cool so i feel like and i feel like the the reality is if you do not want to deal with consequence culture, yeah if you do not want to deal with a quote-unquote cancellation don't go on reality tv i think reality tv has some of the most vocal fan uh, fan bases and some of the most passionate fan bases don't go on a reality show where you're on tv 24 7 for people to watch if you're worried about being canceled, don't go on TV, period, because I think you know that you might be cancelable, if that makes sense. So that's not good. Um, look, I was peacefully lurking, but some things deserve attention. Very fair, Cap Dash, very fair. Um, and definitely don't double down on your BS. That's the biggest thing for me, you know? When people say some stuff, if, like I said, remorseful earlier, if I truly feel like they're changing or they, or they are doing, they believe in what they're saying in the change and... You know, I'm fine with that. I'm not a blind, you're like, I'm not blind, right? I'm not like, nope, 10 years ago, they said this thing, fuck them. If I feel like they've changed. Um. So yeah, that's my take on it. If you truly feel like someone said like one word, uh, like they, they used a cuss word and people didn't like it or whatever, and you feel like you want to say something, then just say something to them um that's on you like you know you're bearing the risk of i'm gonna say this to this person but you know i think everyone's entitled to how they're gonna conduct themselves either way whether or not they want to completely shun the person or they want to give them another chance or they fully support the person i feel like everyone's entitled to their thoughts and then you just see where you go from there Sorry, I've been sitting on this trying to think. No problem, Softy. I do appreciate you trying to solve this uh, for me. I think 25 babies might be like 15 hours. It's hard to estimate, but if people could do a fourth of the challenge in one sitting, they wouldn't take months. I was not the person that's just 25, maybe go for 10. 10 feels like not enough, though. If 25 is divisible by 15, hold on. That's like 1.6 hours per? That doesn't make sense. No, I, I think I fucked that up. It's 15 hours divided by 25 babies. So it's 0. 0.6 of an hour. It's about... F 30 is half. 6 is... 30. A little half hour each. We could do 20, maybe. 20 could be the move. 20 could be the move. Let me think on it some more. If you could vote out one person from Love Island USA right now, who would it be? Um, without giving any spoilers on outcomes, um, there's quite a few people I'd be okay to see going. I think right now this next recoupling is going to be uh, one of the men leaving, right? I feel like... I feel like give me a... Connor departure. I feel like he's doing nothing. I'm fine with him dipping out. Um, honestly, Miguel kind of came in nice, but now I just kind of don't care about him. Um, Rob should not even be there, but kind of keep him there so he becomes more of a hypocrite. I think that would be fun. And then... And then, yeah, I guess like Kenny and Nigel, like I just don't know you, so you can go bye-bye. Um, yeah, there you go. Love Island, Sarah is incredible this season. Love Island US has been very, very, very good. It's appointment TV for me and Liana. We've been watching it every, every night that we can at the same time. It's amazing. I wasn't here for the beginning of the 100 Baby Top, but it was harder to get started until she was raised, until she raised her charisma. 
There'd be a few babies or a slog, then it gets easier. Okay. Um, I think I can, we can go into the lab with that one and I can figure out what the best move is to do that. Uh, cause I know when we did the racks to riches one, I was given a set of rules. So like that could, I could use as a rubric to follow. Once I figure out what the ruling looks for that, I think we can definitely cook with it then from there on. You got your mom to start watching Tara. That's amazing. It's been so good. It's been so, so good. Cause I need to start restart a Hulu membership. No, 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 Sarah. Yeah. It's Peacock for, uh, Love Island US. You're going to need Peacock for that one. Uh, what makes a relationship toxic? I feel like I see that adjective thrown around a lot, but I'm wondering if you slash chat have examples. Um, there's many different ways. A relationship, there's not just one way of toxicity in a relationship. Um, not listening to your partner, berating your partner, um, silencing your partner, or bossing around your partner, not having the partnership be equal, um, looking down on your partner, Telling your partner who they can and cannot see. There's so many different ways it can go. There's so many different ways it can go. But yeah, there you go. But yes, to Hulu too. Claim to fame next month. <laughs> yeah, we canceled our Hulu until we needed to uh, go back. Lying. Lying is uh, very true as well, Kelly Kate. Gaslighting is toxic maneuvers. Plenty of different ways it can go. Toxicity comes in many... Has many shapes, sizes, and faces. To me, it's about like patterns and conflict and lack of effort to improve. I think that's true as well. All right, chat. Final, last call on the form here. You have about three minutes before I close the form down. We are caught up with the form right now. Stealing from your partner. My ex robbed me blind, says Amy. I would say basically to make it easier, any traits that you would think in a human are toxic traits. It's that, but they're doing it to another person in a relationship. Have you ever thought about adding another mod or who would it be? Um, I haven't, if I'm being very, very frank with you. And it's because I truthfully do not think I need more, a bigger moderating team. I feel like, for the size of my chat, my community right now, we're in a perfect spot. Um, if I was told by my mods that, hey, we, another pair of hands could be a shout, then that's a conversation we have there. Um, but as of right now, no, absolutely not. They're holding it down strong. Shout out to the mods. Um, incredible team I've put together here. But from my experience, from my perspective, I don't think we need another. Um, but I know my mods also, they're very vocal. They're very honest with me, critical constructive when they need to be so if they were like we need another mod i know they would tell me if we need another mod if that makes sense how much are you paying for peacock let me check may i can actually give you the the amount because i purchased peacock last year under the uh dollar it was like what two dollars for a year deal this was right around the um right around the world cup i'm paying 5.99 is my plan Mods, you're freaking awesome. Damn right they are. But yeah, $5.99 is my plan. My peacock plan. Our Hulu plan was like 18 or 19 bucks, which is why we canceled. We're like, we do not need this right now. We're not watching anything on it. Are we ever going to see the hair again? What, the wig? Nah. <laughs> I mean, when am I going to wear the wig again? I've worn it twice now. I wore it for the Traders RHAP and I wore it for my costume. My Halloween costume, what, two years ago at this point? Probably not, unless I, there's a reason to. They want me to raise to $7.99? As of when, May? They're all, all the prices are going up. I don't know if you but I think what I did, as long as you have an ad blocker, you don't have to pay for the ad free plan. Yeah, no, I will say this ad blocker works, works very, very easily with, um, with, uh, Peacock. I think Peacock comes with my internet Xfinity, so I don't actively pay for it. Oh my God. I think my internet Xfinity, do I get Peacock for free? 
Oh, you pay two ninety nine per month. Gotcha, May. So Donny Osmond was here, and the whole time I was like, he does look like this. I get Max for free through AT and T cell phones. I'm glad you're like that because we've been telling Corey for weeks and he don't listen, which is fine. <laughs> That's the thing. The reality is, um, as a streamer, you have some perspective, obviously, of your own stream, your own community and everything. But I feel like the mods are in the belly of the beast, right? Because the mods, 9.99999 times out of 10 come from being a viewer first. So they already have the lay of the land. They've seen how the, the community is. So they got that perspective, and then they once the streamer asks some stuff of the mods, they have the idea of how much work is required or what they need. Um, so it's like, oh, okay, we need more hands on deck, or you know, I'm ain't gonna be around like that, and so on. Uh, I might be traveling on a long trip with family to another continent. My sister and mom will be going. My sister is very difficult to be around, and I'm worried to be around her for that long. My mom said she can go on another trip with me. Uh, bracket if I don't go on this uh, go to this one, but I worry about missing this specific trip in time with family Okay, let me reread this again. My sister's very difficult to be around. I'm worried to be around for that long Mom says she can go on another trip with me if I don't go on this one But I worry about missing this specific trip in time with my family. What would you do in this situation? I'm worried. I'll be stressed the whole time. I'm there Um, Well, sounds like there's there's pl your sister and mom will be going you don't want you the FOMO you don't want to have there Um I feel like it sounds like your mom is is very much like knows is aware of this and is protecting you and saying that oh, we can go on another trip, but also is down to hang out with you on this one. I think go. I think I would go because time with family is limited. I would go. And then if I'm not fucking with it, I just, you know, kind of disassociate, do my own thing until the trip's over. Um, or, you know, it's like if it's like a two week trip, I'm like, OK, in two weeks, this will be done. I don't have to think about it again. Kind of that kind of thing. You know what does that mean? Well, of course, all the same. It's just rough because there's five of us and one of us, five is Australian. So he's like never there. Very stressful. I don't know how you feel. Is this trip to visit family or just with family? It sounds like it's trip with family to another continent. So it's like a proper whole trip thing. Our question asks you, you've already talked about my beer today. Spelt it the exact same way as last time too. Did I finish this tea? Oh, score, there's still more. <sighs> All right, chat. Form is closing in a minute. Last call saloon for your questions. And then we'll do a cheeky three on marbles. Lower on marbles tonight. But we'll still do some marbles all the same. Uh, not sure how exciting slash big the trip is, but I turned down an awesome trip to Italy with my family last year because I don't do well in the heat and crowds. Different circumstances, but I don't regret not going because I would have been miserable. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I think the biggest thing for me is how long is your trip going to be? Um, how many of you are at that trip? Is it like separate hotel rooms or is it like a shared space the entire time? I think all of that factors in and makes a big, big uh, decision for what you're doing. Someone did comment on the beard again. Same spelling as well, Tomster. Favorite breed of dog. I don't really have a favorite breed of dog. Maybe Husky. But I also have never really interacted with dogs like that. Because if someone's like, well, Huskies need a lot of work. I'm like, well, I don't. I just like how this looks wise. I don't know. <laughs> but Huskies seem friendly and nice. So, What's the ideal number of players for Blood on the Clock Tower? I, you can get away with like 10. And it's fine. And you don't feel a difference. The bigger, the more chaotic and like the, the more heat.
to the game, but you know. Sam, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm a Yorkie girl. I have three right now, but I've had five total. Damn, Amy. Uh, the trip is about 20 days, and we would be together the whole time in close proximity. We probably would have had separate rooms, but it's not for sure yet. If you really... It sounds like your mom has offered up a opportunity to go on a different trip with her. If you want to spend time with her, go for that. Um, but if this is a thing where you feel like you and your sister can bond or like things will get better, then maybe go for this as well. But 20 days in close proximity is a lot. So definitely make your... And different continent. It's not like a trip to like a state that you can just grab a flight to can come back immediately. It's a big commitment. So definitely think about it some more, but then go with what you feel. Did I check the patron game of Blood on the Clock Tower? I did not. Um, if I'm being very honest with you, I have not checked out the patron game of Blood on the Clock Tower. I didn't even check the second game of the last uh, week. How would, how would you correct how you played as the baddie last week on Blood on the Clock Tower? I would talk to more people. Um, I was so focused on marinating uh, the people I had already marinated in Claire and Scally because I was not killing the star. Scally had, I had to kill because I felt a little worried about his role. But I was marinating Claire for so long that um, I didn't think about like talking to some other people. And I kind of wanted to, you know, I was like, Peridium's going to keep sus off me here. This person will keep sus off me here. But um, I was okay with it because Peridium was close with Jofo who was sussing me. I was like, that's fine as long as you don't suss Jofo. Um, but I probably could have talked with more people, obviously. That would have been the move. That would have been the move. Have I always been a cat person? Actually, no. I hated cats. I was scared of cats growing up. Terrified of cats growing up. Um, it wasn't until like sophomore year. No, not even. I was like third year of university when I liked the cats, you know? Uh, between my mom and I, we've had nine Yorkies. Four of them have been given to us. I wanted to believe my family after Thanksgiving. I even shared a room with my parents and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I think it depends. Family to family situation for sure. Because I think sharing a whole room with my parents would be tough for me. I don't think I could handle that. I would need my own quarters. You didn't talk to Taryn? That's true. I could have also talked to Taryn and kind of got on the same page a little bit. Because did I give him Poisoner? Yeah. I needed to get on the same page as him for some of the stuff. But... I think letting Joe phone Christian sleuth is not good. Never, but also they're like the that's the thing with blowing the clock tower. They can sleuth forever. Just because they die don't mean they can't sleuth, you know? Um But yeah, I feel like I felt like uh Steven harping on the Saint bluff thing. I was like, this is he's not wrong. This is a great strat if this they were bad, but in this lobby, I don't think anyone's trusting that anyone's doing that as a baddie. Um, but yeah. Why does everyone give Sam such a hard time? He seems to work so hard and does so much for RHB and his podcasters. It's, he's part of the, the friends. He gets the banter. Same way I talk shit to Chappelle, I talk shit to Sam. I don't think anyone's giving Sam a hard time necessarily. If I was going to give Sam a hard time, I would do it in private to him directly. Like I would not air it like that. And, um, put him in an uncomfortable spot and myself in an uncomfortable spot with y'all, if you know what I mean. Like, I'd be direct with him. I would never do that in front of others. <laughs> you remember when you guys were talking about Asia? Is she going to be on Big Brother? No, Survivor, Amy. Survivor 47. Uh, I've never know how to feel about cats. All the cats my parents had growing up were terrible, but everyone else in my family had great cats. So I don't know how I'd end up if I got one now. I don't know. I feel like it's like, I don't know if it's like luck of the draw or like, I don't know. I got, when I got Winston, Winston was like a wee baby who was abandoned and was very nice and kind and friendly and just kept to himself. So he was an easy cat. But I've also seen like, Clam is a bit of a menace in my opinion. And uh, Pearl is a lot more like Winston, just kind of like, I'm going to sleep now and hang out and do nothing. But also I'm going to get jumpy and weird. So, yeah. All right, John, I know I've called last question in the forum like four times now, but this is the true last question. At 12.35, I'm shutting the forum. So any last questions, feel free to chuck them in here. How did I get Winston? My best friend went away with his girlfriend at the time to like a cabin 
in the, like a summer cabin type vibe and they found winston abandoned there like winston was just alone like hiding or whatever and then they fed winston they took him in and then they took him to the vet like got him checked on and everything and then they couldn't keep winston because his girlfriend at the time had a cat and winston had fiv so they couldn't have they didn't want to risk like her cat getting fiv as well through winston so they ended up asking me if i'd be willing to take winston in and i was and i got to keep my baby all right question form is over oh someone got in under the wire <laughs> someone said say something nice about live and i decided to shut the form um but so the next question that got snuck in at the end was who do you think is the freakiest freak in the chat um i would say crows probably i would say crows probably So, all right, I'll say something nice about Liv. The, you know what I do appreciate about Liv is that um, I'm like, despite, like Liv is a very busy person and does a lot, make no mistake, and is very kind in the community and friendly with everybody. I guess this is a negative thing about Liv. Liv lets you know what ranking you are in her favorite streamers. Like Liv has never shied away from making me definitely feel like I'm her fourth favorite, you know? And it's like, don't do that. Like, maybe be nice about it. Maybe, you know, make me feel like I'm number one, but. Like once I was like, Liv, you, you enjoy being here, right? She's like, I'll give you a hint. You are less than six and did like the goddamn like less than six did this. And I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Just say what, like, what? And I was like, that's weird. Yeah, I put it this way. I was like, okay. <laughs> I appreciate that, RHAP fan. Thank you. And she told me to fuck off. You see this shit? You see this shit? You know, obviously I made all that up. No, Liv is nice. Um, she's very caring. Um, she's very, she pays very good attention. Like if you ever have a concern or like anyone's asked a question in the in the in the discord or in the chat or you know on the RHAP side like she's always so gracious with her time to like help and make sure people get to where they want to get and make sure that everyone's getting all the content they're looking for um and she's a fun uh, person to play goose goose with bit of a gaslighter but amazing otherwise anyway this is your nightmare she also has a great voice. Um, she once, she once, and, and, and only Mandy can attest to this. She once did a freestyle rap in our mod call and it changed my life forever. It was amazing. Amazing. Liv got bars. What you, what you gonna do? All right, chat. It is time to say goodbye to the form for now. 15 questions away from number 7,000, which we will hit next week. Okay. So that's incredible. I get a pretty shots on the form. Scally, maybe if... Uh, you prioritized me a little higher. You'd be here for a couple of questions, but I guess one of us doesn't like to come and watch their friend stream from the beginning, but that, you know, that's fine. That's just, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> How you doing, Scally? How was the pie? I assume you were recording uh, um, uh, Love Island. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's my favorite Akon song? <laughs> um, Shit. What's the nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter. No, that one's a good one. I like that one. Um, for the memes, sexy bitch is funny because I just find it so ironic that the line, there's a line of like, I don't know how to describe, I want to describe her, but I don't know how to do it without being respectful and then calls her a bitch. So that's funny for memes. Um, but it's also good for dancing, but belly dancer might be number one for me. Belly dancer might be number one for me. 
or don't matter. It's don't matter or belly dancer. <laughs> wow, did we really? Less than six, really? Lonely was a bop? I never connected with Lonely like that, Papaya. I didn't. Lonely just sounded like something you'd hear coming out of one of those sad, like, um, you know, the ones where you put a coin in like a, like you're at a mall and there's like a little like car toy car thing. You put a coin in it, you put your kid in it and it just kind of does this for 30 seconds and doesn't move. It sounded like that's that music came from a game, a toy like that. I didn't like it. It's aggressively mediocre. It's a very specific pull. I remember the first time I heard it, it does have carnival toy. Exactly. First time I heard it, I was in the back of a taxi and I genuinely thought it was a meme song that the, the driver had put on. Only to realize later it was Akon. Sm uh, oh, smack that? Smack that's okay. Lonely went hard. How is Lonely a song that goes hard at the school dance though? How do you, how do you dance to Lonely? Scally, we might have to talk about um, the Tuesday pod, potentially. Because after looking at what is going to be happening for the... Because uh, I'm doing the Survivor draft that night at 7. I was like, two hours will be fine, in and out, easy. I have a feeling we're not going to be done by 9. And then once I'm done, I got to watch the epi and then jump on. I feel like I'd be holding y'all up till later. And obviously, I know you'd be awake, but I know Kirsten may not be. So I feel like we might have to reschedule, but also we'd be done by like 12.30 potentially. If you want to sit out of Casa more week, that's your choice. But the drama, I'm down. I, listen, I was trying to be nice to you. I'm down. You wait for me. You wait for me then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sounds good. Let's talk to Kirsten and see. All right, so we're about to do marbles. If you are not been, you've not been a part of this community, what marbles entails, you get to play. If you want to hit exclamation play, you get involved. You see a marble pull up on screen with your name on it. After that, you just watch on vibes. Root for your marble. Hope it does well. Hope it doesn't get ruined. Hope it doesn't dumpf. And you're just trying to win. Okay? I'm only going to add two badges today. First place and... Last place with the all the maps completed. It's a shorter one, so just two badges makes sense. Hey, happy to hear it, Amy. Happy you hang out with us, hung out with us, rather. Hung out with us. Three rounds, Mandy. Short one tonight. Um, but yeah, to those of you that are about to leave, I hope you had fun with us. Lurkers, chatters, subscribers, bidders. If you fall into multiple categories of those, appreciate it. But either way, VOD viewers, hope you all all had fun. Um, I'll be back. Well, I don't know now, do I? Because now I, now y'all know that there's no stream on Sunday. Um, so I'm most likely not till Friday, but you never know. I'll let you know if anything changes. And to that earlier question asker that I paused down and had some conversation, hope you're not upset with me. Um, and I hope you understood where I came from. I just felt like with the repeating of the question, I had to say something ultimately. You'll be here regularly doing BB. Looking forward to it, Amy. Tonight's my night of manifesting. Good luck, Cab Dash. All right, that is mega short. Oh, we're going from five to three. I'll do four. Maybe how about that? Um, but I did give you all the heads up. My throat's not feeling good, so I will be doing a lot lighter on the commentary. Hopefully that's allowed. Um, not a lot of yelling from me. The music might have to do the heavy lifting here. Maybe less screaming? Yes, for sure. Man, that marble looks incredible. Oh, there's a new update for marbles. <laughs> Thank you, Tomster. There we go, as requested. <laughs> Funny thing enough, I don't know if Cross is still here. This came up on shuffle. I hadn't even planned to queue it up yet.
All right, so um, I don't want to yell over the music, so I'll stop it real quick. Okay, so we are going to do, what do we say? Four maps, four maps, community maps, random maps. So I may feel like recoupling was happening. Yes, Cartel, the Traders UK and Love Island have the same soundtrack pretty much. Parodies of other pop songs, and it's always a good time. Party foul is vibing, and you will continue to vibe. Okay, I'm just set, I'm setting it up. I'm set, I'm setting it up. Let me set it up, especially because I have to. I don't want to yell. <laughs> um, Justin Top Armas, yeah, welcome in Brevich. Okay, four maps, first place finisher, last place with four races gets the badges. Um, and mods, if we can set up a wager for will I get top twenty or not? I feel like that's always an easy one to do. Get people involved if they're trying to get their um. If they're trying to get their uh, marble in, or sorry, there are some wagers in or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah, I let this be known. I think that some other reason why I, I do, I know the VOD viewers do not watch the marbles po point portion is because I listen to Spotify on stream. So you can't get the music on the VOD. So they are indeed listening to the marble sesh with no music if they watch all the way through. And, and if they truly do, if someone's out there doing that, shout out to you, or you're a real one. Um, but if you don't also, you know, I understand because there's no music. Uh, that is one of the perks of being here live with me is getting that musical vibes on the stream. Okay. All right. We're ready. I'm going to hit three maps real quick. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. And then play. Let's go. Here, I'll requeue for you. Um, I'm going to start the game after the, as the song is finishing. So get ready and get ready for the wager. Get ready for the end of the game. You have like about four minutes here. Chat, we have a child among us. <laughs> All right. I'm starting the game now, chat. Among Us mentioned. <laughs> There's an imposter among us. Okay. 
I'm about to press start chat. Three more and you know what number we get to. So if you're here and you haven't participated yet, get involved. You can pass your spelling test. That's fair. That's fair. Spelling's not required to be here, so you're good. You're good. <laughs> One more chat. All right. Good luck, everybody. We achieved it. Let's do it. I like the way this looks. I got you, Brando. I got you. First one that goes down here, we follow their journey. You already know how this goes. Make the music a little lower. All right. Topsy in the lead. A little Miss right behind. Topsy has gone back down. Opening the window for Lenny Berger, I think. Oh, it's one of them maps that you get. Steph somehow dumped. I don't know how that's possible. Lenny is in first and is no longer in first. We're changing the lead a little bit here. Arabin. Maneuvers were smooth. You nearly went all the way. Missing out at this very end, opening the door for Didi Wilder. And then, oh my God, Tara. Oh, Papaya flew through. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, if you like make a perfect spiral, you could go far with that. Tara's right next to you. Now you're talking a lot of shit for someone who uh, is stuck in the lead with a hell of people now. Oh, somehow still keeps the lead. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Look whose marble that was. A lot of people close here. The end is here. And the winner of this map is... Papaya. Congratulations to Papaya. I did get a top 10 finish. So those of you, many of you actually, actually, shall we talk about this chat? You're lucky I'm trying to preserve my voice here. 58% of you said I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to top 20 it. 42% of you said I can and I will. But ironically enough, uh, the 42%, yeah, it's 18 people still wagered. Like, there's more people that wagered on me than people that wagered against me. Um, But there's more people. There's more money put against me. All right, Papaya GG's. Okay, we're back on with the season, so you'd love to see that. More monies. <laughs> I go a little slower so you can see where you landed in all this. Scally in 41st. Okay. We had unfortunately we had about seven or eight dumps here. Sad times, sad times. Where did Brando end up finishing? 12th. 
Ah, well, can't see you from outside of the top 10. I'm sorry. Anyway, next, <laughs> next map. All right. Get involved, chat. <laughs> Better than you did on Survivor? I mean, ratio-wise, perhaps. Oh, my God. No, legitimately. Yeah, number-wise, too. Damn. Damn, that's tragic. <laughs> All right, 66, good enough. Let's kick it off. Ada with the 67, let's go. Good luck, everybody. Three-minute map. This is a pretty big one to win. You're going to want to win this one, I think, if you can. Oh, there's a, oh, God, there's a pirate ship with, like, an octopus. Somewhere out there, Russ just got very excited. It's a throwback, isn't it, Yam? <laughs> okay, we got a lead here with Irie. Topsy once again taking the lead over. Topsy had a bad... Oh my god. Was that a good thing or a bad thing that you didn't get in the teleporty thing? We'll find out, I guess. Yam in the lead. Yam likes the song and now is in the lead. Jen also knocking on that door. Topsy flies over. Makes it look easy. Oh, but Topsy didn't get in the rim, though. Blue Daisy's now in the lead. Nope, Yam's still in the lead. Softy and Blue Daisies pushing Daisies now by both dumping. Oh, everyone's getting kind of split all over the place. Brando has dumped. Oh my god, a lot of people dumped. Tragedy. Angel Lee in the lead now. Oh, j Cause with the sneaky sneak. Good night, Damien. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, a lot of people are here. The Equalizer has truly equalized us today, chat. Unless your name is Pyro Jennifer, we just hopped through and skipped the line. First onto the ship now. Oh my god, this is also an Equalizer? You are joking me. You are joking me right now. Okay, but where are you supposed to go? Oh my god. 
Is that the correct one? I think this is the way. Yeah, yeah. I think Angelie and Jen are in the lead. Oh, Damien, Damien, no, Damien's out. The end is near, and Little Miss Andre, oh, stuck at the finish line. Oh, my God. Nicole has won. Scarkell in second, Danny in third. Your top 10 is decided, chat. Unfortunately, a lot of dumps. Good news is we did break the record, so that's nice. Congratulations to Nicole for doing that. Um, and I finished ahead of Scally, so personally, it's a huge dub. I'm not muted, am I? I'm not muted. I was just quiet when I was scrolling initially. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's purple. We like. Oh, there's a robot with hands. Any comment on that accusation? Quite frankly, I don't respond to ridiculous comments. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're one away, one away. You know what time it is. We need one more to join before we can proceed. Quite frankly, I'm surprised you were able to spell accusation correctly. All right, guess we're not hitting 69, chat. Tragic, but the show must go on.
Oh, there we go. Danny with the buzzer beater. <laughs> you had to double check. Was it rude if he, if he had to double check? <laughs> Who remembers this song from uh, George of the Jungle? George of the Jungle, Brando. Oh my God, Laura, that was terrifying. Oh no, people are going to do them for sure, right? No, thankfully no one did. <laughs> Nicole. Mandy, goodbye. Little Miss Andre's out, Steph's out. This map is mean. Uh oh. Laura, you yayed a little too. You let's go a little too soon, Laura. You know it's bad when you're stuck with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lenny Burt, Honda Man Dan, uh, taking the fattest L. Fruit Loops in the lead currently. Chalet right there. But again, first one through that middle spot is going to be in the lead. So that's looking to be topsy. And Boiku. Boiku now in the lead. Taking the middle lane. <laughs> you know what I realized? In that movie, there is such a clear product placement moment where they give him shoes and he's able to like run like a wild distance or something. And I never clocked it until I got older. I'm like, oh my God, that was literally, I think, a Nike product placement in this sh in this movie. All right, Boyku in the lead. Topsy right behind. Quite a few people right behind, actually. Oh my God, Boyku nearly fumbled at the end, but I think made it through. Congratulations to Boyku. One more race after this chat. And we got another record. Hell yeah. All right, congratulations. Now let's see where everyone fell and how deep everyone made it. I do want to call out the bullshit that I was, fin I finished seventh that first race and I only got 28 points and this race dished out a hundred points for like 15th place. Make it make sense. And don't give me logic. It just, it's cheating somehow. The game is rigged. Brando doomfed again. You love to see it. You can't pipe up and say skill issue when you doomfed. <laughs> it's not bad to root for last. No. First place overall will take the entire prize pot of one VIP badge. Last place with four races completed takes the other one.
All right, well, once we hit 60, I'm going to press start. So it's now or never, chat. Because the minute I see the number 60, I'm pressing start, whether or not you've joined in. No, no, no. As long as you've, yeah, as long as you've done four races and you have, you're just ranked the lowest, you get a VIP badge. Whether you've doomed or not doesn't matter. All right, first one into the, the wrestling ring. What is this? It kind of looks like a wrestling ring, so. Is that Mel Bells? It is. Although the Dimadab and the Sparkly Apple taking the lead over. Oh, it's a very heated race. Delonim takes the lead. Kroos in second. Arabin. It's a lot. We have a live race here, folks. Board record maps get more points. Oh, that is... I did not know that. Good to know. Oh my god, this is intense. Ooh, equalizer. Oh my god, some people just slipped through. Heather Pumpkin in the lead. I spoke too soon once again. This map is mad confusing to me. Ooh, we got stair action. Why? I must say everybody's names. Here we got Chase Chaotic in the lead. Can Chase Chaotic maintain the lead? That's the question. So far, so good. Very close race. In the middle, Chase Chaotic wins the race. See? See? Me saying your name isn't a bad thing. It's usually a bad thing. <laughs> that is what the lore would have you believe, yes. This was a fun map. I like this map. You know who doesn't like this map? Sal's here. But Sal's here is about to finish. I think that everyone... Do we have a no doom for this time? And a world record. So you know everyone's about to get some filthy, filthy points. Let's see. No dumps this time. We killed it, chat. We did it. And also, no matter how bad I do, Brando still does worse than me, so lovely. All right. VIP badges for first place and last place with the most races done. Good luck. And third and almost there, but not quite. We have Chrissy. Congratulations. Second, we got Nicole. Congratulations. First place, VIP badge receiver. Skarkel coming in, Captain Clutch. Skarkel getting the most points with no races won. See, sometimes you don't need to win the races to get them points, though. So let's set it up. We got a VIP badge coming in for Skarkel. Congratulations. And then we're going to scroll a little lower to see how I... So I did in top 20, so if you voted against me, about to receive some sweet, sweet justice and points. Um, I did very poorly, as you can tell. Yeah, 37th. Could have been way better, but it was not. Um, and the last place finisher with four... So from here on... Hold on. We don't need music now. From here on, from 46th on, everyone's on zero points. So it's just the luck of the draw. What did the game decide? Who is going to have zero with four points the lowest, basically? And that honor goes to... Lori! With 77th place, zero points, four total races. Lori, you get the VIP badge. 
And Lori, remind me, that's a capital I, right? Not a capital, uh, not a lowercase L. Just so I don't fuck it up. All right. There we go. Lori B. Indy. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Dished out and served. There we go. And and those of you that made your bets, boom. Congratulations. Enjoy your, your winnings. Those of you that bet against me, enjoy. Those of you that bet for me, I do apologize for uh, coming up short. But, you know, we, we looked like we were doing, having a good time in that first race. We really peaked there. It really felt like we got this. And then it was very quickly realized we don't got this. <laughs> I do appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for everyone for hanging out tonight. Um, I will see y'all soon. A lot of content coming your way next week that I'm involved in. Um, for this weekend, we do have um, a Goose Goose video coming your way on YouTube. I will send all the links and everything on, on Twitch, uh, sorry, on Twitter uh, for that. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'll be back next week with some more non-YouTube content. See you next time for the more cat content. And you'll definitely get some of that. All right, y'all. I'm going to go rest up. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Take care. Have a good one. Ooh, the clock tower is doing a 24-hour relay stream for Trans Lifeline. Do you want to raid them? Yes. Can you send me the link? Uh, link me the account, Blue Daisies, and I'll do it. Very down. No clock tower, no goose goose. Not this week. Well, again, I can't speak for Blood on the Clock Tower, but I've been told that Dwight isn't going to be hosting this weekend. So no, no, no to both. <laughs> hey, thank you for hanging out, Doug Dimadab. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We have Blue Days. If you give me the link, we can go there together. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's go here. Shout out. Oh, Brando will be streaming. Are you making uh, Brando's? I think you're doing a charity stream as well, Brando. You're doing a cookie, making a cookie or something. Was it pastries? So yeah, Fifth Boot Brando. Check him out. All right, y'all. Throw some less than twos in there. Show some support. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see y'all later. Till then, take care. Have a good one. Bye. Wait, it's not letting me raid now because we did a shout out. We got to wait for the timer to run out. <laughs> it like reset the